This is going to be a reaction stream to the Meat Mountain. <laughs> We're going to be trying the Meat Mountain and giving you a live reaction. Live yeah, one of us has game. character. <laughs> You see, you see those okay. question marks? That's to decide if we're a yeehaw or a yee, -yee tonight. God, if yeah. I just want to use yee, -yee I think we're gonna think we're gonna have, <laughs> have some issues. We are sponsored by Florida, so <laughs> this is actually this. You is, might be. It's, it's like it's like lover host, but it's yeehaw or yee yee. <laughs> um, tonight's game does come with a warning. Uh, there will be. De... I don't know if I don't know what words being called graphic, but there will be depictions of bodies, murder scenes, blood, uh, general horror things, guts even, guts even, meat perhaps, meat, <laughs> meat of the bodily kind. Um, uh. <laughs> it all uh. comes back. It will to be. Meat. It will be sliced. It will be diced. <laughs> Like you might not want to eat the meat mountain from this game. Warning for the yeah. meat mountain. Just, we don't know what kind of meat is in that mountain, you know? We're, we're taking the flesh pit and putting it in a person. And oh, then God. I think that's just a normal God. person. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's actually just me. That's how I live my life. All right. our food <laughs> keeps blowing up. <laughs> um, we're we're going to be uh, we're gonna be doing potentially bad southern accents. So yeah. get ready. Speak uh, for yourself. Advantage. <laughs> so people here have an advantage over everybody else. Uh, other than that, though, keep your opinions about the accents to yourself. Everybody's trying their yeah, best. Yeah, I'll be really sad if somebody. And also, your opinions about the American <laughs> South. <laughs> yeah, keep them to yourself. Yeehaw, Some of us don't have a choice. Okay, keep them for the to yourself. yourself. Yeah, not nothing the nice to say. Don't say nothing at all. You know. For help keep here, to say, you Keep that shit to yourself, or you're gonna get on out of here. <laughs> get. Get, go on now, get. Um, fortunately though, we are not actually in the American self, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, that is something the best game ever. <laughs> that's something that we don't have to worry about right now. We are, we however, this. uh, this game is located somewhere, somewhere in the southern part of the continent of the Cyan Kingdom in a section of it that is an area that is referred to as a mirror. Um, so like there is on the wonderful world that you all live on that is called Panor, there are things called Fey Woods that are located in both Yari and Lithern. They are connections to the Fey Wilds. Um, in a way, they're the, the Fey Wilds bleeding over and contaminating sorts of the uh, um the material plane where they are located the mirrors on the other hand is the the shadow fell version of that um and the mirror that we are at right now like i said is in the cyan kingdom the southern part of it um mirrors are i mean the sh fey woods are uh, you don't really want to be there. There's a lot of things that are going to try to eat you and fuck you up in multiple ways, but mirrors are also bad, also not great, also not somewhere you want to be. Um, it's not somewhere that somebody would go on vacation, but unlike the Fae Woods, people do live here um, in both of them because like, there are two uh, Fae Woods, there are two mirrors as well. Um, it is, let's see, in both of the mirrors, like I said, they are places where connections to these others pla other planes have opened and have bled through, um, and in some places in them, there is the chance of finding a entrance to the actual Shadowfell and the actual Fey uh, Wilds, um, but Fey the Fey Wilds ones are well protected, and the Mirrors ones you you don't mm -mm, you don't want to find them. <laughs> um, but 
about the Mary specifically, it's not somewhere that somebody would typically choose to live. Uh, you kind of just end up there. You end up being born there, or you end up there for a reason and then you just don't leave. It is, as much as the Shadowfell is, they're, they're dark, they're grim. It's, the land's kind of devoid of a lot of stuff. And the people that inhabit it are, uh, they typically match this landscape where they're kind of dreary, tired, kind of nasty. Not the nicest of folk that you meet. And whereas most of, most of the world, the Shadowfell will have a, like a negative reflection of it, uh, within it. And where you can find places in the material plane, you will find a ref like a negative reflection of it in the Shadowfell. That is not really the case with the mirrors because it is a place where it has just kind of merged together a little bit. And it's not exactly known why there's bleed throughs in these kinds of places. Um, but it's more, I guess you would describe it more as an open sore with the mirrors instead of like an infection of energy like the Feywoods are. The working theory is that it's due to the nature of the Shadowfell that the, the mirrors are just what those reflections are. It's just a direct replacement of what one of those reflections would be onto the material plane instead of having both places in both both planes. Um, duh, duh, duh. The people out here, like we said, are kind of nasty, kind of not nice. They have what you could call a little bit of a lower moral compass than other people and a simmering sense of apathy underlying everything in their lives. There is this dread and this dark energy that affects their daily mentality. Though it's like, it's not to say that everybody is an ass all of the time and you can't be happy. It's just the general vibe of your day that you have to deal with all of the time. Uh, outsiders tend to not stick around too long in mirrors, uh, mostly for fear of being affected by the Shadowfell themselves, um, or the the threat of Shadowborn, which are native inhabitants of the Shadowfell. It's uh, instead of a mirror, the Shadowfell proper. And there is also the danger of just ending up in the shadow fell through one of these little connector spots while traveling through a mirror that you don't really want to accidentally do uh, shadow and illusion magic as well as necromancy magic is stronger in mirrors um but not as much as it would be if you were in shadow fell proper but it is a little bit stronger. And within this mirror, like I said, we are in like, kind of like the self of it. Um, not, we're not like near the border of it. We are a decent way in. And we are at a little town that is called Adderwick. It is a dreary, dusty town set in the southern reaches of the Cyan Kingdom's mirror. The population, some say, is no more than 30. There's not much here in the way of shops or entertainment, sans the standard establishment that you need to have a functioning town. Uh, besides the homes in those few buildings, there's a couple of farms that are stationed near the outside borders of it, doing what they can in the difficult terrain of the mirror to provide some food. And in just a, peti eh, just a petition to the town and the dusty farms, there are here and there 
near Adderwick and also near other towns. Um, a few modest estates that are just a short travels, a short distance from the towns, but not within its direct reach. And we are here because unfortunately there has been a series of gruesome murders that have been taking place in this town and in its surrounding area. Usually that would not be a particularly unusual or considered worrisome happening for some place like this if it wasn't for the close frequency and the number of these murders happening. With more people that you can count on one hand being found dead, it's been proven that it's just too much for one person to be able to handle by themselves. So a call of assistance has been posted within neighboring mirror towns by the sheriff of this town asking people basically, if you got time, if you wanna show up, this is something to do. Uh, we need help and it's not stopping anytime soon, it looks like. The sheriff's office, it's situated close to the center of town, not directly in the middle. It's by no means a large building at most. It hosts the facilities to hold maybe five people max if the need comes about. The sheriff that is in charge here her name is Jetta Drake. She is a large, intimidating orc woman, standing upwards of seven feet tall, with dark hair. She keeps close to shoulder length. She does not have much in the way of staff at all, which is why Jetta has put out this notice that has been spreading about to bring attention to the murders and ask for assistance in figuring out who the culprit is. And that is where all of you guys are. Um, want to start introducing yourselves? I go first. You're s okay. <laughs> that was so loud. That was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. You're just excited. <laughs> so excited. So um, I offer to go first because. Joe's probably already there. I hit the wrong button and now I'm getting screamed at. Oh god. Um Joe's probably already there because um Homegirl was arrested not that long ago. And to strike a deal to kind of like I don't know, not be hung for her crimes, she was like, uh, what if I help with these murders? <laughs> crazy thought, crazy idea. Um so she's kind of just like chilling, waiting for the rest of the people to show up so that she can get all the details so she can start working on it. Um, I don't remember how tall I said she was. Let's see. No, I wanted to start that. Wow. Oh, she's five and six. So she's not like huge or anything. She's this half elf uh, lady who, whenever you get there, is probably sitting in a chair, like with her feet on a desk because she's kind of kind of. Um, and she's wearing this like red button down shirt with a bolo tie and a little vest over it, like super like run of the mill kind of stuff. Her big tannish hat on her head. And she has these really dirty like chaps on that they come from like a, a cow. It's, they're leather, so they're chaps and whatever. Um, and very notably, she, her face is kind of decorated is the wrong word but she has these black scales that cover her face and her eyes are completely yellowed out with these little slits like a, like a lizard um and she's kind of just fucking chilling right now she's not really got a lot to do at the moment she's very much trying to like light a cigarette and smoke it but she's also trying to avoid getting caught in doing that because we are inside and she doesn't want to get in trouble I mean, just because if they wanted to, they could just send her back to her cell. Um, that's kind of it. She's got this long black hair that's in these braids that you think maybe were braids at one point, but they're so, like, matted and messy that it's kind of just, like, 
of an amalgamation of hair on the back of her head. Under the hat. That's really it. That's really it. She's a little dirty. She spends a lot of time outside. If you pay attention to wanted posters, you probably know who she is. She's kind of everywhere all the time. Fantastic. That's really it. Um, yeah, you were probably you were here before. You were probably in in the cell and have been let out. Um. Yippee! You guys are, I forgot to mention, um, there, you're waiting for Jetta to come out of her office from talking to someone to give you guys the rundown on what's happening. So you're yeah. waiting outside of her door in the building. I can, I can go next. Yeah. So, door opens, and, uh, tall, tall, elderly man. Uh, one might say, though he looks a bit older than he is. Uh, he walks in, he's dressed mostly in black. He's got a, a long black coat and a black hat on, and he takes the hat off when he enters, um, revealing some salt and pepper hair. And he's, uh, he's smoking. Um, but as he enters, he puts out his cigarette, and he looks around, doesn't see Jetta anywhere. So he leans against a, a wall and sort of uh, puts his hands on his hips, revealing a uh, the ivory grip of a gun holstered at his hip. And this is Jonathan, Jonathan Hudson. He is... Um, what to say about Jonathan? He hasn't been around people for a while. Uh, in fact, he is he hasn't been around people for maybe 20 years. So this is this is um, he's not very social at the moment. Um, he seems to be scanning the room uh, and he doesn't seem to he doesn't seem to regard the, the other person there. Um, just looking. That's uh, about all that I'll say about him at the moment. Old man. Yes, old. I can Point go next. Time. Old man. <laughs> old man. Old man. Agent. I'm glad, you, I'm glad yeah. you didn't say he takes his hat off and there's balding. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, no, he's not suffered from balding yet. He's not actually that old. <laughs> he just looks like it. He just looks like it. Um, I can go next. Yeah, yeah hit it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, before before Jo Joanna even entered, before Jonathan even entered, there was a elven woman. <laughs> there before either of you got there. She is fairly tall. She's got long red hair. Um, I'm losing myself. She's got long red hair, gray eyes, uh, and she's just been patiently waiting, arms crossed, standing next to the office door, wearing a fairly fancy dress, so to say. She does not look like your run-of-the-mill, like, person that's just out on the streets. Definitely looks to be part of the higher society, despite it being very small out here in the mirrors. But she's been standing there next to the door, tapping her foot, patiently waiting. When Joanna walked in, she just eyed you, rolled her eyes. Um, and continued to stand in silence and watch, <laughs> watch Joanna <laughs> just figure out how to smoke in the building, <laughs> but fail. <laughs> and then she does have an odd feature about herself other than the red hair. Um, she seems to have uh, shimmering gold freckles. So, 
across her cheeks and shoulders. Are they real? Who knows? Are they artificial? I don't know. But they're there. But yeah, so she's just been patiently waiting. And every time she sees someone walk into the door, she just shakes her head and stops. Like, this is ridiculous. What's your name? This is Evelyn. My lovely shadow elf sorcerer. Hee <laughs> hee, pretty lady. Mm-hmm. A pretty lady. Pretty lady. Next, you spoke. You go next. I know. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> um, so, you guys are all in there. Probably not... She doesn't really... She's not... not normal for sure. Not... not nor oh my god, I can't talk now. I'm on the spot. <laughs> um... She doesn't, she obviously doesn't show up first. She kind of probably shows up after Jonathan. Um, is a 5'3", which is relatively short for an elf, but 5'3", um, very pale elf, um, with very long white hair, kind of pulled into a braid, um, but over her shoulder. Um, she's wearing, like, dirty, high-waisted jeans that are cuffed, and, uh, Kind of a dark brown boot. Got a little bandana sticking out of her pocket, and she's wearing. I know it's. I know it's not exactly as the the picture you guys are seeing on screen. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm not an artist. I couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. I had to use a pit crew. Um, but uh, she's got like a white button down shirt tucked into her jeans that are that is very open, <laughs> very much open. She has a long baggy uh, brown coat on and uh, a. Um, uh, brown kind of cowboy hat as well. Um, she has gray eyes and she just kind of walks in and she's holding the flyer in her hand. Um, doesn't really talk to anyone, just kind of finds a pot spot to stand and waits. Um, she is here mostly just because she's bored. She wants something to do. She needs something a little more exciting to do. Um, so that's why she came in for the job. And her name is Yadiri. You tell me you're playing a character with boobs? <sighs> yeah, I'm playing a character with boobs. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. No, not as big as rats, though. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh my god. No, no, no. Nice tits. Nice, nice, nice tits. <laughs> she's, she's, she's an in between um, typhoon and rat, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, got a scale going. <laughs> We'll say we'll say a C cup. <laughs> we have a scale going for them, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a scale. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my girl. Sim, would you like to do this? Oh yes, sorry. Uh, you can... Yes, I am a muted cool. I w I just took a drink. <laughs> um, a little sippy. Yeah, a little sippy sip. What to hear? Um. So. From outside, you kind of hear like some rattling, and oh, oh my goodness, oh gosh, uh, and then opens the door, kind of see this, uh, she's not short, she's not tall, I think I put that she was like 5'5", five, five. uh, half-elf, kind of stumble in with like a bag, a crossbody bag that's kind of clinky clanking around and everything. Other people there already, and she's like, oh... Oh dear, and uh, kind of just shuffles off to the corner, clearly having hoped to have gotten there a little earlier than other people. Um, she kind of stands off to the side and is like looking through her bag. Um, she's wearing like it's kind of like a morning dress, like Victorian era fashion, kind of sort of, uh, and some glasses. And yeah, sorry, I just keep getting distracted by the fact that the pit crew that I used looks like a Danganronpa character and I hate that I realized that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. No. God damn it. Um, I have ever gotten a call with you and Danganronpa was never brought up. Yeah. It's, it's a curse that follows me. It's it a curse that follows me. I'm so sorry, my friend. 
<laughs> close, close your eyes, close your eyes, don't look at her. Okay, okay, I'm looking down at my keyboard. Okay, um, but she's wearing, like, Victorian morning dress, kind of, um, the black and the high collar and the long sleeves and... Like I said, she has a crossbody bag. While she's looking through it, you can kind of see that there's, like, vials and some, like, other, like, empty vials, vials full of, like, liquids and some mixy stuff. And, um, she has kind of wavy, curly-ish black hair. It's kind of cropped really short in the back, but left kind of a little longer up front, reverse mullet, you know. Um, and she is very frazzled. She's very very nervous looking and that's Zira. Hi Zira. Hi Zira. Ooh. I'll go next. Yeah, go. Uh a little bit of like clanking gears and turning metal outside before it enters a small three foot tall automaton gnome named Prototum, who is a fighter. He looks down at the piece of paper in his hand and looks around, doesn't see the sheriff, and then slowly walks up, realizing that there's dirt on the floor and begins to sweep it up. Everything on him is perfectly cleaned and polished, except for bits of rust that can't be taken off. The axe on his back is perfectly sharpened and shiny. All he wants to do is clean every little bit of dirt, even looking at people's clothing as they have little bits of dirt or sand attached to them, but avoids doing it from getting close. And once that's done, stands dead in the middle of the room, staring ahead, waiting for the sheriff to enter. What, oh, what in him. Sam Hill is that? <laughs> did, did you clean us? <laughs> no, no, it was... Oh, you just thought about it, okay. He thought about like, looked around <laughs> at people who were like, had a little dirt or dirty on them, thought about it, but wasn't gonna get close to people. Oh, so darn that's... clean robot, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Certainly not touching me. I, I am Joe, pristine. So bites, you. <laughs> so bites you? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I love him already. Um, yeah, um, as you guys enter, it's a little yeah. after Proton shows up, maybe like a minute after. Um, the One door more, the door to Jetta's office opens. Um, and she holds it open for somebody to exit. MJ, would you like to describe your character? Sure. Um so uh I'm a uh human, um about like maybe twenty five years old. Uh I'm around like, you know, five ten. Um like well built um i uh work on a uh, farm basically all day so you know pretty like physically fit um i'm just kind of wearing you know very simplistic uh kind of normal farm hand clothes um you know like a kind of white kind of button up um kind of baggy pants and uh sandals or boots and uh a and like a sun hat um kind of old and tattered and uh uh yeah what's your name uh my name is uh robin Uh, what's your what's your disposition as you're exiting her office? Um, Not Jedha, great. Yeah, <laughs> Jetta herself is kind of a little stone faced as she's standing there. She's doing that thing where she's like standing to the side of the door with her arm flat against it to hold it open for you to exit. Um, she hasn't really addressed, like, looked at anybody in there waiting for her yet, but waits for you to exit. Oh, th thank you. She kind of gives you a nod. Um, and once once you exit the room, then she turns. She looks at everybody else. She kind of stops. Her gaze like flickers over each one of you. 
real quick. Um, she skips right, right over Joe. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> looks right, <laughs> looks right over her head. I was like sitting there with her arms out, like, please uncuff me. <laughs> yeah, please. You skipped over. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like she's doing a little head count. Um, she does notice a couple of you guys holding the flyers. And she's just like this big, deep sigh. And kind of still still holding her office door open. Motions for you guys to enter. <laughs> um, kind of telling Robin, you. She's like, gives you like a little like nod, kind of letting you like stand out there for a second, compose yourself after the conversation you guys are having. As I'm walking in, I'm gonna knock my my boot on the ground, knocking off a bit of dirt. I'm gonna watch what the robot does. <laughs> Protum immediately, like, without any body movements, only head, eyes locked to the ground, not looking at you, but only the dirt. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't move because you're still standing there, but just stares directly at the dirt and nothing else. Joe gets up quick and moves inside, like like she's trying to be really good, but it's like <laughs> it's it's done very much with the attitude of like, "Fuck you for putting me in jail." <laughs> oh, she's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go because I'm a good kid. I'm so good." I Fuck you. <laughs> I think as soon as uh, Jetta like opens the door and ushers for everybody to come inside, uh, Evelyn just sighs, mutters under her breath, "Finally!" and then like just rushes inside. Like, geez, took long enough. Yeah, without without really a word, just kind of like you know, like slow movements. Kind of like looks up sees it open, we're gestured in, she just kind of shuffles on in. <laughs> Zero, like, quickly makes sure that her bag is, like, closed and latched, and then she kind of gathers her skirts up in her hands so she doesn't trip and hurries in. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you guys get in her office, get yourself situated. Um... Robin, she turns to you, like, still... She kind of, like, lets the door close a little bit behind her um, to address you, Robin. She's like, do you need a minute? You want to sit out here and, and wait for me to talk to them again? Or you think you're all right hearing it all over again? Uh, I am I think I'll be all right. All right. She kind of just, like, kicks the door back open a little bit. <laughs> and re-enters her own office, kind of, like, letting you follow after um, <laughs> and she kind of like has to like squeeze past you guys a little bit to get to her desk to the other side to sit down um because again it's not that big of a place <laughs> you guys are kind of like squished in there a bit um she kinda does kind of like um like probably like hand on like Zyra's shoulder at one point like, oh, excuse me, kind of like shuffle past you, squeezes behind you in the wall. Oh, oh, so sorry, sorry. <laughs> such a tiny office. <laughs> she can barely fit in this office, never mind this group of, of yeah. weirdos. <laughs> she is kind of like looking at you guys like she didn't expect this many people to show up, but oh, like no. <laughs> sits down. Um, and she is, she is still just like, Sorry, Joe. She is still just like ignoring you. God damn it! <laughs> she's like every time. She's... Every time she walks by, she does like a like cuffs cut. Cuff. Fine. Fucking Jesus jingle, jingle, Christ. jingle. Hey. Jingle, jingle. All right. <laughs> if anybody like even bumps into Joe, she hisses at you. <laughs> Ugh, get away from me! Don't fucking touch me. Essence. And she sits down at her desk, kind of, kind of like the chair, kind of creaks, sits down in it, and dresses herself a little bit. Um, she folds her hands, looks at you guys. I'm um, assuming that you guys are here about the murder cases. Uh, if you aren't here about that, you are about that now. 
Sorry if you had other plans for the day. Um, she kind of like looks over at Jonathan. She gives you a little nod. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, your, your letter wasn't too specific, but he asked me to come, so, you know, I wouldn't have come out of hiding uh, if it weren't you asking. I appreciate that greatly for you to do that. It is, um, she kind of like, scrunches up her mouth a little bit, like, eh. I was just say it's, it's a lot of work. Um, the frequency that all this is happening and stuff is not something I could handle by myself. But, and she kind of like looks against, like, throughout you guys again. And she does, this time she does kind of like look at Joe, but she does, she's not making any movements to uncuff you. <laughs> looks at Joe, jingle, jingle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hard to hear when my wrists are so full. Oh, what <laughs> have mercy. She, she doesn't do anything else other than like raise her eyebrow a little bit. It goes back oh. to the other, the other people. <laughs> It's like complaining. Uh. <laughs> mm. Um. So she just kind of she kind of like winces a little bit while she looks at Robin, um, but does keep me on to say. Now that we have uh, confirmed that you guys are all here for this job, which, again, if you aren't, too bad. Uh, good news and bad news. There has been uh, another body found this morning, so there is new evidence, fresh evidence for you to start with when you're trying to find out what's going on. Um, I think our friend here, she kind of motions to Robin, we'll be able to lead you guys over to where it is. I haven't had a chance to head over there myself, but if it is anything like the others that have turned up, it's going to be in quite the state when you get there. So, prepare yourselves for that. Um, she does, like, slide over a little piece of paper that she'd written stuff on. This is one... Lucille Ferrer that you're gonna go find. Uh, she's owner of Ferrer Farm that's on the outskirts of town. Eh, like I said, she was found this morning from our pal here. It's... Hey. Eh. Again, sorry about that. Any questions? Uh, I, do yes. have a, I have one. I do have a question. <laughs> Not oh, you, Joe. Puts her hand down. Keep it to yourself. I have a question. I was wondering if there was any updates on the last body that was found. No. <laughs> what if that was my question? Shot down like a one way Joanna, death. you don't have questions. I'm not well, allowed questions anymore! <laughs> well, I guess I'm certainly glad that we've that this group has found their way into this office because this is getting ridiculous. Lady, I've been in jail. <laughs> Does it look like I care? The fuck you want me to do about that? Take it up with Jenna. <laughs> I'm I'm like looking at Jenna like it, it please <laughs> is this is this all we have? <laughs> Zero raises, raises her hand a little bit. Just like now, pleading. Is she gonna be handcuffed this whole time? Well, shoot. Now someone's asking real questions. <laughs> She's like pointing at Joe the whole time. <laughs> she like looks over her shoulder and gives you a smile, but it's kind of like a smile from somebody that doesn't exactly know how to smile. <laughs> she has like really big canine. She's like, I like that question. I, I really like that one. That is a real good one. Well, I'm asking because 
I, I think you need to stay handcuffed a little bit longer. God fucking <laughs> damn it! Oh, oh, she agree. starts to stand up. <laughs> Joanna, sit your ass back down. Uh, I would agree. He's back down. <laughs> Little robot man, Every... what do you think? I do not understand. Why are you handcuffing a party member that could help us in the search for murders? All right. I like that. The can is talking. Also, the accommodations here are. Uh, not great. Could we please take this outside? My feet will need to be polished after entering this building. <laughs> Evelyn is All right, just so this, standing this there guy with a pinch of her is, nose. Is this so guy annoyed. crazy? Yeah, what the uh, hell is that? Or what's, what's the deal with the little robot? I gotta know. Unfortunately, I don't remember many days ago. I simply wander. I found a poster that thought I could fix an issue of taking important lives i'm not a fan of murder okay oh god oh god wait you don't rump -a wait hold on let me guess something you don't like murder because it makes things dirty you could say that but <laughs> the gift of life is more important and removing that is punishment <clears throat> I can agree with you there. I'm gonna lose my shit if you just stay quiet. <laughs> just no response. <laughs> Sorry. It's just silence in response to <laughs> <laughs> My new favorite character. Holy fucking shit. It's really oh good. My I God. love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Alright, little robot man. We're gonna we're gonna hunt some murderers now. Fantastic. Lead the way. All right. Anything else, Jet? Uh. Not that I can think of. It's um. <laughs> she just kind of like besides she does the kind of like you know like a eh, whatever hand motion. All right. We don't have really hey. much to go off of, so. Hey, little robot man, while we're on the way out, uh, you're not gonna clean up the the blood and stuff of what we're investigating, are you? You be determined. Whatever it looks like there, I'll make a judgment call. Please allow me okay. to be the last person exiting the building here, though, so I may clean your footsteps. Alrighty, then. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fucking crap. I'm trying um, so hard not to giggle <laughs> and be like serious and angry. <laughs> so, you dearly this looks is... at um. Is that a... Let's... I'm sorry. I love my little man. He's so good. He's so good. He's um, a little boy. Uh, you dearly looks at Jetta and goes um. But uh, oh no, I'm gonna go British. No, don't go British. Go do southern. Resist. Not the resist, British. Resist. Resist. If you go Revolt. British, just gonna automatically hit you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what a, what a, what is in it for us other than the handcuffed one? She gives you like a, she gives you like kind of a look, Joe. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> she kind of just like sniffs a little bit. Uh, money, I guess. Not for Joe. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you, you, it seems like she does not care. <laughs> either way. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no care either way if we're getting money or not. Well, I'm sure there'll be a bounty if we bring in the killer. When we bring in the killer? Yeah. All I right. hope it'll be that easy. <laughs> yeah, me too, little man. Yeah, all right, let's go. Sits in chair, jingle jingle. She, Jetta kind of, she sits there. She waits for um, you guys to start filing out of the room. She stands up and like opens her drawer and she's getting out the keys for Joe. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Uh, wait, it. Uh... What's up? Don't worry, don't worry, we can find some more if we no, need. Stop fucking distracting her. <laughs> God damn, let the woman do her job. Thank you kindly, Miss Jetta. An issue. Right. 
Robin, you got an issue with some? No, I guess not. <laughs> Raise her eyebrow a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, mm, Joe, she comes over to you. Make with your lord. <laughs> Joe, she comes over to you with the key that she gets out of the drawer. Oh, motions for you to stand up with her. Stands up. <laughs> she was doing that thing where, like, elbows on the table so her hands were above her head, and she was just, like, looking up at her with, like, a hee-hee, I'm so innocent smile. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of like, while you're, while you're getting up, you're still in the motion of it, that she kind of grabs the chain of the cuffs and yanks you up the rest of the way. <laughs> I was getting up. As she's like, she's standing there. She starts to un, st she's starting to like undo them. She unlocks one of them. She's like, as she's unlocking the other one, she's like, Joanna, now nah, I need you to remember. I'm giving you a second chance here, but if you fuck this up, there is a rope tied up there with your name on it, and you are gonna be there by the end of the night if you try to do any funny shit. I, I, hey, I am, I am nothing. If not a woman of my word, and I gave you my word, I'd do this. Sure. <laughs> oh. Robin is like uh, gesturing towards towards Joe, then back at Jen, like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> she looks at you, Robin, and, and just does like, the like smile, like lick your teeth kind of thing. Like, oh, I'll be just fine. If there's any trouble, there, I'll handle it. Oh, yes. I'm sure he will. Mm-hmm. She, she nods. She kind of does the thing. She, like, un, like undoes the last handcuff. Um, and kind of, like, pushes Joe by the shoulder towards the door. Um, as you're- as she, like, pushes you toward the door and your back is turned, she does turn and hand the cuffs to Jonathan. Alrighty, then. God damn it. <laughs> I'll stow them. Does anybody need time to make peace with their gods or do any other preparations? Don't you know that there are no gods here? <laughs> Evelyn just walks out. This is ridiculous. Meanwhile, Zero's like kind of leaned down to be a little more on eye level with uh, Prototum and is like, Now, Mr. Robot, don't worry. I try to keep my shoes really clean. Because they cost a lot of money to get new shoes all the time. So I don't like them getting too dirty or anything. So you shouldn't have to be picking up too much after me. He, like, looks, uh, like, meets eyes with you and then, like, kind of scans, like, up and down, seeing if what you said is true. And then he's, ah, finally, someone I can relate to. Thank you for not causing more mess in this dreary world. She claps her hands together and is like, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and then she walks outside. <laughs> this is this is Robin's worst nightmare. <laughs> I know. Can I can I relieve my sanity if I just look at the robot? <laughs> you better hope the robot stays sane. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be scary. Because yeah. I fucking Joe leans back at one, like just like leans into the thing, like hands on the side of the door, peeking in. Jenna, where's my horse? <laughs> Jenna, if you sit my horse to the slaughterhouse, I'm going. I'm gonna lose it right now. I'll be on that damn rope in a couple seconds. <laughs> I hear they have a new invention. It's called glue. Oh, <laughs> uh, you you don't want bear trap for glue. Joanna, I wouldn't do that. I'm not as heartless as you are. It's just oh, tied, he's tied up outside around the corner. <laughs> Alright, great, thanks. And that was me. I'm ah, I get it. Thanks. He was implying the horse was turned into glue. That was. You're pretty sharp there, little robot man. Thank you. Alrighty. So everyone's ready to head out. I mean, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take silence as a affirmative. I mean, yes, this of is course, all... Mr. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Evelyn and Zero are already outside. Right. Joe, like, salutes very overdramatically. <laughs> this yes, is all we work. have to work with, then I guess this is all I have to work with. God, you're a bloody cunt, aren't you? 
<laughs> you're a bleak yeah. day, aren't you? Evelyn, Evelyn just looks over at Jonah and is like, you're not much better yourself, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, but I embrace it and I roll with it. So you right. got like the, the hand right. over the mouth, eyes wide. Alright, to <laughs> the crime scene. There's good and all people. There's good and all people. There's good and all people. <laughs> is there? Yeah. Watch pipe, Robin. No, there's not. No, there's not. Uh, you like cackle laughs as she walks away. Robin, you're in the <laughs> wrong place, honey. Jo Jonathan walks up and he uh, places a hand on Robin's shoulder and he says, "You're gonna learn." Zero pats Robin like on the shoulder and is like, "It's okay. I agree with you." There's good in everybody. You're gonna learn too. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Okay. I also have a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I don't know why that made me so fucking funny. I was do gonna we, say. Do we need to ride to this place, or do we need? Can we just walk? <laughs> Puts on sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I was a horse. You don't have to, um, you don't have to ride to it, it's the farm that Robin's gonna bring you guys to is just on the outskirts of town, um, and again, it's not a very big town, so it's probably, it's just like, 15 minute walk, maybe. Fuck yeah. It's fine. Jo still jingles when she walks, cause she's spurs on. Cowboy no. walk. Fuck yeah. <laughs> funny. Still a zero. Evelyn, Evelyn will walk with the group, but there is definitely like a horse-drawn carriage outside of the sheriff's office that is <laughs> obviously hers. <laughs> so. Oh my god, uh, Joe hates you so much. <laughs> next to that is so also a... Joe, Joe sat a, down with the bourgeoisie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Next, yes. Next, uh, next to that horse-drawn carriage is probably a massive boar like the size of a of a of a what do you call it a bernie's mountain dog damn yes. those, that's a big boy those fucking gigantic dogs just this just a boar that big big boy everyone like sees the boar she scrunches her nose a little bit but she's like not in disgust it's just like mm. That's a bit big for my, like, that's a really big animal in the middle of town. I do not like that. <laughs> so. Joe has a horse. <laughs> I know we were all talking about our rides. <laughs> I don't think prototypes. Yeah, everybody a horse. my ride. Does prototype Jonathan have a Joe motorcycle? Mansion horses. <laughs> no. <laughs> prototype not yet. Walked you. Are you a transformer? <laughs> you got wheels. Prototone <laughs> Acura Slide. Shit. <laughs> Prototons oh, in the next Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> All right. Does Prototon right. walk on legs? I missed yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Good wheels. No, he does not have Funny. treads. God, it would be, it would be like R2-D2. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe How do you he's think got he got heelies. upstairs? He's got heelies. I don't know. Hands? Pick <laughs> himself up? Oh, shit. Right. He figures it out. Life finds a way. Dude, he's say... fucking Voltron. Who knows? <laughs> um... I will say that Evelyn definitely goes to the host drawn carriage real quick, um, just to step in. But um, like she was wearing this like dress before, she basically just takes the skirts off, and she just, because she's like these, yeah, quick change. These are ridiculous. Let me. I'm just taking these fucking things off because if we're walking here, ugh. So <laughs> might as well make this convenient. But yeah, but it's all just black and gold clothing, so just throws the skirts in the fucking horse-drawn carriage. To the crime Good scene, change. then. Also, as as all of you leave, the, the boar, like, mean mugs all of you. <laughs> I mean, mug it back. Zero we'll looks like she's gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> when we walk back by, I'm talking about Joe's horse. And now we're going to the crime scene. <laughs> It's panting around the corner like a dog. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, 
bear trap is tied up outside around the corner. Um, like tied twice <laughs> to the pole. Yeah. That's like extra security. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Bear trap's eyes are on the front of his head. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is a predator. That's 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 a fucking predator, my dude. Alright. Please don't say that. Oh <laughs> that makes me afraid of horses. That, that's that why horse I fear them. canines when it opens its mouth. That horse is, horse is <laughs> panting like a dog. That's not uh, horses don't do that. Man, imagine imagine being terrified of horses and living in the south, because that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. the opposite. I'm. I know you. I know you are pro. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't know, trust Kevin. horses. I love horses. <laughs> I trust spiders more than I trust horses. No, 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 I no, trust no. a. I trust a lizard more than I trust a horse. I'll horses are, horses, horses are evil. Why are they that big? They're, they have no purpose being that big. Yeah, and they're too intelligent. I can't trust anything that schemes. They're silly. Yeah. What else is I can't trust murderer. I can't trust. <laughs> Damn. Maybe it's all my, my roommate is looking at me judgmentally. Maybe the murderer. Oh, it's good to learn that I, he can't trust me then. <laughs> of course horse? I can't trust you. Uh, See, he's learning. God. I forgot one last detail. If there's the guy, like the horse driver, carriage driver or something like he's just out fucking cold. Like he's just asleep. <laughs> so oh, good for him. I thought he had been knocked unconscious. <laughs> it's not good for him getting a little snoozel. He's snoozing, and Evelyn says nothing to him. She's <laughs> like, yep. As we right. uh, begin heading towards the uh, crime scene, um, Robin's gonna turn around and clap his hand and say, Here, Brutus! Here, Brutus! And the, the boar's gonna kind of... <laughs> and start lumbering over. Oh, I love him. I love him. He little lad. As we like walk over, I guess I'll like explain this. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to explain, but please. Um. So, I don't. I woke. I woke up as I, you know, at the crack of dawn, as I usually do with, you know, at when going to get to work. So I went over to the. To the ferry or farm i usually just kind of you know i usually just kind of do my laundry in the morning but i you know felt like i was going to go to the farm first instead as i as i wasn't sure if you know my laundry would be dry by then as it rained the previous night before and i oh left out my, my gods get on with the point well i can't I, believe i'm saying this but i agree get to the fucking point well i went into the to the farrier house because i i just some seemed off. Usually I get to work, but some just seemed off in the morning and I went in and and Lucille was there. Lucille is my boss. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming Owner that she's the one that's dead. The farm. Yeah. Okay. Not just that your boss was there at work. Is that it? Just about. I just uh, ran straight to the to the office. Uh, Did you touch anything? No. Why would I touch anything? I don't know. You saw me on my way in. Yes, I was crying. Oh. How much more did you check and see by yourself, anything, or is it lack? No way, no what? how. What'd you say? I said, did you check if she was alive, or just no way, no how? No oh. way, no how. No shot. She got a head. I. <laughs> yeah. I just turned around. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I just want to know. When was the yeah, last, last time, time you spoke to me? If she has a head, when we get there, okay. Now let's get a move on. Last time I checked, she had a fucking head. Well, I spoke to her last. I spoke to her last night. 
Uh, well, okay. Sure. Does, does that was the last time I spoke to Sleep up on the farm? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we should see the crime scene before we do anything else. I agree with Little Robot Man. That's good. Out of character, really quick, I just realized, have any of us introduced ourselves to one another? No. <laughs> I don't think so, but we know Robin and Joe's name just because Jetta brought them up. Or Jonathan okay. too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Robin, mm -hmm. Joe, and Jonathan. Yeah. Cool, I'm sorry, I just- I just had that brain moment, and I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Yeah, no, none of us introduced ourselves, it's just those three were said by Jetta, so. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Joanna, cool. she's gonna bite you. Don't do it. Don't do what to Joe? Don't call her Joanna, she'll bite you. <laughs> Rabbit animal. <laughs> so so we're gonna walk in silence all the way to the to the crime scene, okay? Just awkward silence. <laughs> Joanna. Is that what you want? It's just a silent walk, that's all you want? Yes, you know that's what know. I would like. I'm sure you would, you uppity bitch. <laughs> now, hold on now. But now, if we're quiet while we're walking, we won't get to like I'm so know each sorry. other. Oh, you're good, crow. <laughs> I'm all along. I was so totally funny. prepared for this. Such a good reaction. It's so ugly funny. Bitch. <laughs> Just dead silence. Dude, you called her a cunt earlier, and I went. <laughs> Wow. Not really yeah. I have to like stop myself from cackling every single time you insult somebody. <laughs> no worries. I'm I was totally prepared. I was just like, I'm going into this acting like a bitch. I'm totally prepared for the comeback. I'll run a one shot where I'm nice to you for the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Play the main game and you're like, I will kill you. I'm like, oh. so, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Fuck you. I love you. <laughs> Stop making my characters hate you. <laughs> what do you, What do you think of all this, little robot man? <laughs> Sorry, that also makes me quite an interesting <laughs> dynamic in this town. I haven't seen it before. Yeah. I used to I used to live in towns like these. I did. Where you come from, little robot man? I mostly remember wandering around in the deserts until oh, I stumble yeah. across random jobs to make money in order to buy more supplies to combat creatures. Oh, okay. So you co you combat creatures, huh? That's 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 useful. There's a lot of creatures. Do you have a name? She's looking at she's looking at the little robot man. I do. I am known as Protitum, or Prode for short. Stick with little robot man. <laughs> I will accept any nickname you give me. It does not Excellent. matter. Yeah, this guy gets it. <laughs> you ever investigated a murder before, little robot man? No. no. But I am curious what would compel someone to take another's life. A lot of reasons. Do you know anything about taking human lives? Oh, yeah. Robin fucking looks over at that like, What? Yeah, well. Sometimes it's necessary. Fantastic. Sir, Your experience yeah. will be perfect for our job. I hope so. No. Hope we don't have to kill nobody, but if it comes to it. And he, uh, <laughs> he, uh, inadvertently maybe, uh, glances over to Joe. Wow. Are we saying Miss Joe's gonna murder somebody, or are we, don't are we taking just, her out? Just Joe. Just Joe's fine. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wait, why were... Why He's... were you even in there? That's what I was what the about. fuck do you mean? I mean... If I you know, noticed... I just assumed you would kill someone. 
I mean, there could be a multitude of reasons if you've seen any of the wanted posters around. Oh, yeah. Like, hands behind me. Yeah. They'd like to string me up before dawn, so I'm here doing this to avoid that. I ain't ready for the hangman's news just yet. I got other things I'd like to do. Well, we'll see. Steal from more people, mostly. We'll say see. that, and Zira kind of hugs her bag a little bit close. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't buy it. Not all the time. Your teeth you are a little sharp, Joe, so... Do you understand, uh, crime, little robot man? I understand basic laws and morals. However, upkeeping them can be difficult at times. I agree. This robot just gets it, don't he? Yes, you said I you do fight... get it. You do. You said you fight... Was it creatures? I'd rather not say let the little robot man have his privacy. I like that. All right. We we should ju just about be there. We're lead us to the body. Robin. All right. Where was the body? <laughs> <laughs> god? Whispers to DM. <laughs> Whispers to the god in the sky. I also have a question for the god in the sky. What? So, so don't we all? <laughs> and what state was it in? Florida. Damn. <laughs> oh, no, really oh, bad. How, yeah, I, I should have known. Probably a state of disarray. <laughs> um. Ooh, wait, what's your question next? Um, is Jetta still with us? No. No. Okay. Okay. And she sends you guys off on your way. Okay. She says, like, "Get out." <laughs> Yeah, awesome. we're unsupervised. Maybe. Did we ever <laughs> even find out like what the reward was? Did we just like walk out? She, she said no, money. it was money, but we oh, just don't just know money, how much. But we don't know how I, much. Okay. And I'm out. Yeah. Yudiri really didn't care, so she didn't ask how much. <laughs> Zira's just here, man. Um, but yeah, Robin, you guys, you are approaching the. You have left the bounds of town. Um, you have to head up hill a little bit and pass through the the fence on the road to get into the the farm. Uh, go to the main building, and you had found Lucille that morning. Um, kind of just in um, one of the like downstairs kind of like a kitchen um mm -hmm. i'm specifically picture with me in my brain it's one of those ones where there's, there's like tile floor has like island in the middle of it it's like connected to outside it has like a little like a little mud room outside of it that is like just like an alcove of the kitchen um you guys when you get there, um, I mean, Jetta was not lying when she said that it would be in a state if it was like any of the other ones that have uh, shown up. Okay. It uh, a flashing thing, depiction of murder scene. Whoosh, whoa, whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like CSI Miami. Bollywood drama dun, dun. transition yeah. scene. Dun, dun. Yeah. Um, it is messy. Um, not in the sense that it's mercy, but like the room itself, like it wasn't just somebody got killed. It was like there was a big ruckus in here um like there are broken uh like dishes and stuff mixed on the floor um the 
the body of Lucille is still in there. She is on the floor, um, kind of laying on her front. Um, one arm is like pinned underneath her. The other is kind of like stretched out in front of her. There is um, blood just about everywhere in this room. It Did is you say she was face up or face down? Face down, just on her stomach. Okay. The, the blood is, it is splattered on the cabinets, on the walls. It is pooled on the floor. There is a, a lot of it. Um, it is, it's pooled on the floor. The, the grout between the tiles is whatever color it was before. It is no longer. It is red. Um, it is, um, like in front of her where her hand, like one of her hands is like reached out in front of her. It is streaked across the floor. Um, smaller ones that you can obviously see that is from her hand, but also a larger streak. Um, like her body had slid across it before stopping where it is. Um, there isn't, upon walking in, I mean, you can see her head is still on her body. That answers your question. <laughs> she still <laughs> has that. It's too bad. Um, but the, the place is just like an absolute mess. Um, it's like, if you, if your character has seen uh, a murder scene before it is one of the more gruesome ones that you have walked in on um, you can you can see like it is it's not fresh per se but um, like it's the blood isn't all dried yet and it is still kind of just like pooled around her body um It's not pretty. It's not a nice place <laughs> to look at. Um, uh, I will say Robin is covering his eyes. Yeah. Um, you also, you cannot see her face currently. Um, it's covered by her hair. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> upon second look, you can see her shirt. Um, by like a little bit that you can see sticking out like from under her hair up near her her neck was white it's no longer white it is more closer it's more of a wine color now and in some places more closer to black <laughs> mm. This, this may be a stupid question. When you said that the room's in disarray, is it more of like sign of struggle or ransack disarray? Struggle. Okay. Like things are thrown all over the place. Um, like stuff is pushed over. I think, um, should get started looking for uh, some injuries on this body or potentially uh, killing wound something like oh yeah zero is like digging in her bag to like pull out some like gloves of some variety <laughs> and to then start stepping towards the body joe just like sticks her hand in the blood no oh, god fucking damn yeah, yeah god. No, i i wanna no, that ain't right me. um I'm probably standing near Robin, but while Robin is covering their eyes, I am just staring. <laughs> like, oh, guess I walked into this one, didn't I? <laughs> like, well, shit. <laughs> so, um, well, she. I think investigation. Can I? Never mind. I have to think about how I want to phrase this because I'm trying to think of what I'm looking for. I wanna 
follow the like because you said the body looks like it slid because there's like a skid mark mm -hmm. basically i want to see if it looks like there's like a one point where it must have started and then slid into this ending does that, does that make sense it doesn't really make sense i, I want to do a blood splatter analysis <laughs> <laughs> I know a blood splatter analysis, like, be like, oh, like... Investigation for blood splatter? This thing looks like... Because, <laughs> like, if you get stabbed, it might leak. I'd just like mm. to find the wound. Get Can shot, I it might spray. The wound with per perception. I would like to just note that, like, Zira is knelt next to the body at this point. And it's, like, starting to poke and Yeah, I'm down there, right. too. I'm, da I'm down yeah, there, too. Yeah, to be... Knelt next to the body, you are kneeling in the pool of blood. Yeah, that's fine. You know, you know, Zero's wearing Zero's wearing black. It's a, it's I will, a... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna <laughs> say. I'll, I'll wear black clothes for a reason. Protum is like shuddering, watching you all touch the blood and like. You can clean us up after, right, little robot man? As much as I'd wish, it would probably be better to dispose of the entire building for a mess like this. <laughs> You gonna burn it down? After we've been You will not. Early, of course. Now, I agree with our little robot All friend. Right. This we is can kind discuss, of a mess. We can discuss that later, but let's... I'm gonna try to find, uh... Maybe a killing blow. Some sort of... Just trying to find some wounds on this. this okay. Lady here. So we have... Investigation for blood splatter. Um... Perception for wound finding? Uh, perception for wound finding. Yay. Yeah, I have I have one as well, but it involves me asking you a question because oh, it might be okay. dumb to investigate for it. Okay, we can do it after the other two then. Okay. Where should I roll? Um, it, is, is this the D six rolling? Yes, this would be the D six rolling. Um, when you, yes, thank you, Crow. You're welcome. Yes, in that channel, the crew just put a message in. Rolls after you. Do your dice. You will put your number there, but you also say it out loud. Um, we'll do crows first. Um, out of my four dice, I rolled two sixes. So whoa, exceptional. Can you just let me be? Wait, thank you. May, I'd be may I ask? May I ask a reminder really quick on mm -hmm. rolls? Just super quick. Yes. So you will state um what it is you're using. So, mm -hmm. like she did, uh, investigation. I'm using my investigation to look at the the blood splatter, see if you can find where it came from and how it is. Um, and you will take your stand. The standard is 1d6. Okay. But if your investigation has a plus one to it, you do 2d6. And you will okay. roll them and you will tell me what your highest number for it is. Oh, so does that mean, like, say I had, like, a plus two, I'd roll three dice? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, so it's okay. the bonus number on the character sheet plus one. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna roll now. Uh, finish Joe's first. Because oh. I, do I don't want to forget. Joe's got her fucking lizard eyes looking around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, my little Joanna... Ha. <laughs> you um, are able, you kind of step around the the pool of blood and like the splatters so you're not messing any of it up. Um, a two sixes. Um, one six for everybody. One six is good. Multiple sixes is exceptional. Um, you, get a little, you get some extra stuff. <gasps> you get multiple sixes. Oh my god. Let it be a kiss on the lips. Let it be a kiss on the lips. <laughs> Just for you. What do I, what do I on say? the blood? <laughs> uh, yeah, on the corpse? Like. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. You are able to, like, looking around, like, the this blood on, like, from her hand dragging and looking at the smear. By, like, kind of, like, getting closer and following where it was and seeing, like, where it starts, it more so looks like she had fallen and was dragged. And the smear from her hand is her trying to pull herself away. 
and the blood splatters on the cabinets and stuff kind of looks like it would be from like slashing and blood being splattered that way um and if not from just the stuff smashed everywhere the way that this is kind of smeared and splattered everywhere is very telling that it was like she was fighting back like she didn't just like somebody didn't just come in here and stab her and she died mm -hmm. like she was trying to get away and stop whoever had killed her gotcha and Rojo for what do you do okay now i'll roll yes i rolled earlier but that was too early i guess which is unfortunate because i got t6s on that roll but i'm just gonna re-roll because that was too early jump the gun i did uh that's one six fitting for the scenario uh, did you say jumping the gun Nice <laughs> 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 yeah, one six that's cute yeah um so what is it exactly that you were doing i was looking for a wound or like any amount of wounds just trying to assess where she might have gotten killed at like what mm -hmm. you know stabbed yeah where is this wound yeah um so six is yes it's a very good thing um to assess the the damage just by looking um like without turning her over or anything um just by her back you can tell like her shirt is kind of like ripped up and stuff um like near near her waist kind of on one side um you guys turn her body over it is pretty gnarly um she is covered in large very wide open gashes um mm. there are ones that are like shorter and deeper uh, indicative of stab wounds um but there are like long wide open slashes uh her shirt is cut up of claw marks perhaps you could say from the way that some of them are closer together um she kind of have to turn her over gently move her hair out of the way because she has a lot of it um she has um her, her white blouse had, had is the key word, a high neck on it that is kind of ripped away. And you can see as you like turn her over, like ripped down to her shoulder on one side. Um, her, like, I was like, her eyes still open, kind of just like flop her, like her head kind of just like flops over when you roll her over. Um, <laughs> her by the way that her head turns when you do that um you can tell very very easy that something is not connected correctly there while her head is still on her body um there is some yeah. internal damage in there that is not correct um and amongst all of these like slashes like mainly center on like her abdomen you can tell uh, her sleeves are also ripped up on, on her forearms, like, also with these slashes on them, like, she was blocking with them, trying to, uh, block her body from getting stabbed and stuff. Okay. In addition to these, like, stabs and slashes and claw marks, there is also in on like multiple places smaller um multiple together 
but puncture wounds. Uh, like she was being bit by things at the same time. Hmm. Okay. This this lady was. It. I'm just gonna say it. Surprising how much she survived. Was Robin? Was your boss uh, known to be uh, tough? I suppose, or someone who could survive a mauling for a long time. Uh, it's an interesting question. Because I'm mean, looking at these wounds, tough, this looks like a mauling. And tough, a yeah, I, I don't, I haven't exactly seen her ever been mauled by an animal. Sure, sure. But uh, she wasn't particularly strong fighter, anything like that. Not, not as long as I knew her. Okay, okay. So, just to relay the information that I have uh, observed here, uh, it seems like she she has a some amount of damage, potentially a broken neck, um, and then, as you can see, the claw marks and stab wounds, and I can see over here a few bite marks. It's um, bite marks. Yes. Do you have? Have you had any animal problems recently on the farm? I mean, yeah, but nothing nothing that would be capable of this. It's always right. just been like coyotes and, and right. sorry, coyotes and <laughs> so don't you mean coyotes? Coyote. Yeah. Yeah. I, I corrected myself. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I mean, I can't even remember the last time we saw a bear or anything like that. Right, okay. Oh, can I just add something, like, super quick? Mm -hmm. um, just, like, while y'all, uh, Jonathan and Robin are talking, like, Zira is, like, poking and prodding at these, like, stab and claw and bite marks everywhere just to, like, mm -hmm. assessing the damage and everything. See if, see if you can't find any sort of uh, tooth, tooth fractures or anything left behind her any claw oh any. yeah um, um really quick what would i would i roll insight to check for that or investigation investigation yeah is what you to use for that um before that would we like to play with our our new other system thingy <laughs> oh, is this a sanity system? Our sanity yeah. system? I would love to. Oh, I was. <laughs> I would, I would love to. I would love to. <laughs> I would love to, considering the <laughs> situation I've got yeah, myself I, I... <laughs> into. Um, I was also going to ask if I if there was any way to like do a, an Arcana check to detect any magical traces of anything. Yeah, we can do that too after. Okay. I okay. still have my question too. Oh, yes, yes. Ask right now. Um, how long were we in the office? Um, like, and like to office to get here. Like, I'm I'm asking for a like. Oh, if I were to check for rigor mortis, but rigor mortis is only two hours. So I'm assuming, like, being in the office and like the walkover would be obvious that it's already set in. Also, I think she was found like at the ass crack of dawn today. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she's, I think she's past that. I mean, there is ways to find, figure out blow. how long a body has been dead for due to like temperature, basically. Yeah, and, and like bugs and stuff like that. We're not going to get too into the bugs thing, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She would. So, Rig Mortis, I just had, I just looked it up real quick. Um, does disappear after 36 hours, and she is would still be in it because it was a sporting. Okay. Okay. I don't know if any of us have enough knowledge to. Would you say she's warm and stiff? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have three to eight hours. All right, I gotta go. Yeah. I think we looked at the same. <laughs> <laughs> what is this a reference to? The Google search, I think. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. 
Uh, I just oh. I just googled how long it lasts because <laughs> I knew it, I knew it went away, but I didn't know how fast it went away. Yeah, the really cool thing is yeah. you're only stiff for like a day and then floppy. Mm -hmm. Then you get. I think if you're stiff for more squishy. than a day, you should contact your doctor. Sometimes you fly <laughs> a little bit. You what? Why are we doing this? <laughs> okay, so we're rolling sanity. Sanity. Yes. Uh, we are going to be doing different ones. You guys are not all doing the same sanity roll. I am sorry. Some of no. you, this is worse. Oh. Fantastic. But weaker constitution of the will. Um. Lid. Where'd it go? Where'd my fucking list go? There it is. Um, so... Oh my god, I hit myself. <laughs> Evelyn. E. Yours... Evelyn and... Robin. Yeah. Um... Actually, Robin, would this be more of a seeing your friend dead situation or seeing a horribly mangled corpse situation? Uh, for me? Yeah. Definitely seeing a, a friend dead situation. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry. My my headphones unplugged. Did you say something? No, I, I just said okay. Okay. So. Um. Everybody else. We refer to the info tab really quick for how you're going to do this. <laughs> um. You have to roll percentage against your total sanity um so the 100 um just type in google the 100 or random number between this and this zero and 100 um uh, one and 100 whatever if you the goal what you want um is to roll where did it go You do not want to roll over the number that you told me is what your current sanity is set at. You want okay. the goal is you want less. You want to get a number gotcha. that is less than that. We can use the percentage dice as well, right? Yeah, if you have them. Mm -hmm. Um. So it would be your percentile die and the one that looks like a percentile die that is uh. not the percentile die. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The one with the tens and the ones with the. Uh huh. Yep. yep. <laughs> the one with yep. the zeros on it and the one without the zeros. Yeah. <laughs> and put that in rolls. The two yeah. dice that look the same but have zeros on some of them and not the other. <laughs> yeah. That one dice has got two zeros and you think to yourself, how do I roll two oh, zeros? Oh, this is. Cool. Um, so, Fawn, explain this to me. <laughs> So are we, are we just rolling right now to lose sanity, not how much we lose? Bro, no. Yeah. You got Bro. it. Bro, ho. Bro, ho. So explain this. Um... <laughs> For those Bro, who do not know, yeah, watching the stream right now, Bro, ho has rolled his exact sanity number. Yeah, so, how'd explain, you do that? Please? How'd you do well, that? I think, I think oh. that's just you just hitting your limits, man, you know? Oh, <laughs> you just hit podcast, buddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Huh? Well, it does only say if you roll over, so we can say music beats these, does and you it, can get the smaller you succeed. that I go back to the future? Yeah. <laughs> 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 When you inevitably oh. open the Grand Ghost <laughs> roll 20 <laughs> and you see me rolling in it, ignore it. So, the numbers that I'm going to say, the first one is how is if you succeed. The second numbers I say is if you fail. Okay? Get that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So, MJ. Yeah. Your, this is yours. You want to succeed. <laughs> um, yours is, see, zero. Or, if you are failing it, um, you have to roll a d6. Uh, Evelyn. You. Yes. Yours is one to one d4 plus one. Okay, one d4 plus one. Um. And everybody one. else. It is. Rojo's jump scared me. Uh, I Rojo's number scared one. me. <laughs> Is going to be zero to one D one D three. Fuck yeah, one D three. Whoa, one two three. Um. Where... So yeah, so what you do is you want to you roll percentile. You want to do <laughs> one to hundred. You want to get. What you said your sanity score was, or under it? Um. So I rolled percentile so, for myself. Uh, can I just ask, what is a zero 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 me? Hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, hundred, right? Hundred. <laughs> ah, yes, one hundred percent. Okay. Sorry, what, nope. what was the number you said for mine? No fucking way. Uh, you have to roll roll your sanity first. I I rolled and I got a ninety nine. Put it in rolls. Okay. So you so ninety nine is what you said it was eighty. Yeah. So then you failed. You have to roll a d6. And then okay. what the uh, number that you get from rolling uh, your d6, you have to subtract from your total sanity. Okay. I rolled a uh, two. That's good. You don't want to get five or up. <laughs> what happens? It, I mean, I know that's a lot, but does bad something bad happen? happen? Oh, yeah. <sighs> bad we'll things get, happen. We'll cross that road. Um, also, pause. I know I said everybody else do. Just dead body. Um, Dylan. Yes. Would you consider it seeing just a dead body or a horribly mangled body to yourself? It's probably horribly mangled. I mean, with all that, uh, all the blood and the lacerations and whatnot, especially when they flipped it over. And the floppy head. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you are instead, you are mm. going to be doing nope. the one to the 1d4 plus one that Jane is also doing. Okay. Um. I lost the rules channel. There it is. So, uh, Synth 23, Nyx 39, 30, 23, 39, 45, 59. Those, yeah. And then 88. We'll say meetsy beatsies for it. Um, so you Yay. can you succeed. Um, that gives all of our just seeing a dead body folks you, you don't get a you don't get a deduction congrats you stay at the oh, same so we have to get I'm, glad to see, I'm glad to see my bribe work <laughs> 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 yes you want to get lower um, um oh my god i keep losing the rules channel lyra 100 i think 100 is over you <laughs> Yeah, my oh, 90. Oh, might be over <laughs> your sanity number. 
Maybe oh just, roll just a little, just a ten. Yeah. So wow. you roll a d4 and then add one to it. You do not want to roll a four. Oh, I rolled a three. <laughs> okay, so then you take four. Four. Okay. So subtract four from your total. Oh. And then Dylan. Yes. You. Was forty five. Forty five. Good. So you're yeah you're good. Yeah. Um, you do, however, you take the passing for Mangled Corpse was one, so you still subtract one. Okay, so it was a passing. Good job. I joined the 80s gang. Woo! <laughs> 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 Good for you. Wait till you reach the 70s gang. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys when you guys get lower than 50, we can throw you in over the hill party. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I can't new goal, new goal, new goal. <laughs> new goal, get lower than 50 sanity. Dude, is this the phasmophobia? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives a Ouija board. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, what if I have it on my character sheet that I have a Ouija board? <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, it I guess we're of, talking to ghosts. It's part of my Dungeoneers pack, actually. I have a oh, sorry, you guys want to talk to ghosts? Jokes on you. Oh, yeah, you want to talk to ghosts? Let's Let me call let's Spirit real quick. Talk this. <laughs> Halfway yeah, can, across the world. try to talk to this lady. Yeah, you want to talk to this lady? I can talk to this lady. I know somebody. Yeah, anybody can speak with them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so useful. Um, actually, I would be a lot of just I like. I might. Let me check. Dude, it's she is her head is barely on her. Nick, are you laughing know. because you have it? I have it. <laughs> I mean, if you if worth, you speak with her, she's just gonna be like. She's <laughs> actually gonna go. Bleh. Chokes on blood. Chokes on blood. Chokes on blood. Her neck isn't slit. Can't she just? Can't she just broke. She just snapped. Goes? Can't you speak to Oh, me? that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna lull around uncomfortably. Yeah, it's just mm. gonna look very weird. It's fine then. Let's talk yeah. to her. Yeah, let's yeah. it's worth a shot. Yeah. Um Pause. Did you not plan for this con? No. Oh. There was <laughs> Before we did sanity, somebody said they wanted to do something. I said after the sanity. Uh, I think uh, I know. I asked if I, I could do like an arcana or like that. just a general check mm -hmm. of like I want to check if there's any magical residue in the area. I just didn't know if that was a spell I needed to cast or an arcana check. And Zira was no poking around at the wounds to like ascertain if there were any like debris left over. Okay. Um. Are there? Um, I think you can just do an arcana check to do that. Okay. I don't know how this game works. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's one plus the roll. Oh, okay. D damn. Okay. Well, the highest in this group. <laughs> Did I lose a number? The highest in this group, I believe, is a five. Five? <laughs> yeah, out of but six dice. <laughs> five. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so the, the scaling system is one to three is mm -hmm. bad. Do do caca. Four to five is... Yeah, you can do what you want, but maybe something happens. Um, six is the, you know, good. Double six is exceptional. Um, five. So you can, yeah. Are you just, like, scanning? What are you doing? How are you doing this? I'm gonna just scan, the, scan over the body, see if I can catch any sense of, like, magic, magical residue left on her. Mm -hmm. So, like, what kind of creature may, if it was anything magical. I think Arcana says... Kana says inhabitants of those planes or something. So if somebody came from a different plane, <laughs> probably the show. Ah. Uh, or <laughs> yeah, probably the show. Um, 
Or just like if there's just anything in the house itself that's giving off magic vibes. So Yeah. Um you um being somebody that is a sorcerer innately magical, um understanding being able to understand this stuff. Um, walking her around, scanning over things, and like glancing over her body as much as you can stomach is definitely not touching. <laughs> it's not you can't really um get the sense of any kind of thing. Like this wasn't a like a like a summoned creature attack thing per se, or like a magical attack or anything. Um, okay. but in as like walking around trying to figure this stuff out you do end up stepping in like the the blood trails and everything and kind of track that around <laughs> um you are leaving your own footprints into the the scene as well as like kind of a little it's just, it's just a little bit um altering how the like the splatters around her are laying whoopsie i'm a little distracted <laughs> bites you bites you bites you bite. <laughs> whoopsie saw <laughs> body went uh-oh <laughs> okay so um shiv you so you said you could do investigation, right? For Gar. For Magor. Simp silly, you're muted. Shiv, you know that? Since my love. No! <laughs> no! That's usually my job. I was talking the whole time. Oh, no! <laughs> I, I am silly. Oh, my I silly. Was just, I was just saying, I rerolled the digital dice, and the highest number was a six. I'm putting that in the chat. <laughs> but, yeah, Zira is just like poking around, kind of gross at these wounds, kind of looking to see, like, a. Uh, how uh, Jonathan suggested to look for, like, if any, like, teeth broke off or any debris got in the wounds. Give me two seconds to let dog outside. Yeah. Maybe that's the murderer. Oh my god. You're so dead. The dog? Why you like so dead? It's I the perfect it crime. <laughs> Fucking knew it was Mookie. Of course it's Mookie. See, that's why I don't ever mute myself, though, because I know I'll forget to unmute. <laughs> um, yeah, first six. Um, you were very clearly able to delicately poke around um, and check out these wounds. Um, with very expert touch, are able to do it without disturbing things too much or like smearing um, the blood everywhere and obscuring things or making things worse. Um, there is, besides, like, fabric pieces and such, there isn't any, um, like, telltale things that you can find in any of the slashes or claw marks. The bites that you're looking at, you can't find any, like, tooth pieces, but you can tell they are... Some of them are very precise, while some of them look like something like bit and like she yanked away and kind of tore through her arm or her shoulder. Um, but they are, they're not horribly big. If it was a dog per se, it wouldn't be like a huge one. Um, it wouldn't be a Bernese Mountain Dog. It wouldn't be a Bernese Mountain Dog. It definitely wouldn't be a bear. Good. Um, those are good dogs. <laughs> those are good dogs. Um, it, Would you say more erring on the side of Chihuahua? 
<laughs> yeah. Thinner. Yeah, Chihuahua with a knife killed her. <laughs> Thinner Salt puncture again. wounds. Um, they do go moderately deep. But, like I said, like some of them are like cleaner, just like stab, pun- like little puncture wounds, um, multiple together in one spot. Um, and other ones, like I said, look like they were like something biting her and like ripped off. Uh, and tore through. Yeah. Can't see no. me, but like IRL, I am like nodding my head as I take in this information. <laughs> I will note to everyone, uh, just so we all know, that there are signs of a struggle. Not uh, a one sided attack, it seems. Uh, she was able to put up some amount of defense. Um, just surprising to me that an ordinary woman would be able to resist whatever could do whatever, hold out against whatever could do all of this. Well, I wouldn't say she's necessarily normal. I mean, and she like puts down the, the limp arm back down from where she was inspecting and she's like, she lives out here after all. I don't True. think most normal people would live out here. No offense. Uh, Robin, was it? Yeah. No, no None offense, but... I noticed that you don't say no offense to Jill. Yeah, <laughs> Justin, Jill, like, leans <laughs> over your shoulder. What do you mean by that? Evelyn, like, lives out here, too. Obviously, like, a shadow <laughs> elf in part of this place. She's just like... I mean, after all... I mean, after all, it's not like it's our livelihood. Zero just nods. And, I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I well, said what I said. <laughs> oh, that is factually correct, I guess. Now, Robin, where do you stay while you're? Uh, I I stay just outside of the uh, property on in a. Uh, I kind of made my own house. Okay, but not close enough to hear nothing. Nah. I see. Okay. Also, if anyone cares, she definitely went down and was dragged, scratching mm-hmm. the back of her neck. And she was fighting the whole time, so she was still alive when motions like say, run water. Can't when quite say if her, her neck is, is fully broken, but that seems like that would kill somebody, no matter how. Tough. Zira kind of reaches out <gasps> and grabs this body's head. And kind of just moves it side to side and kind of, oh, that seems pretty broken to me yeah that's not that's not all right oh i think it's safe to say that that would be the killing blow strange if it's a wild beast why would it not have consumed her that is a very good point my robotic friend another good point is that their stab wounds like that of a knife which usually wolves or bears don't use yes yeah. you know there are, there are things flashy. there are such things as druids you know that's true <gasps> ah, shapeshifter. oh that's a really good like point a werewolf a wild shape i mean would you like to talk to her Oh, I gotta watch what? this. What? Questioning the, the victim would be ideal. Are you able to do that? You only get what? about three questions, so think about it now before I do this. They are dead. How can you question them? Pro- She's probably got some dark magic going There's on over of, there. A lot of kinds of magic in this world, little robot man. It's Interesting. Very- Easy to do it. Uh, you got five questions. No oh, five. By the way, if you're doing oh, speak with why, dead. Why are you oh, it is five. It is five. I don't know why I thought it was three. Sorry, that's uh, D&D some D&D weird it. I'm thinking of the D and D movie. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's three Sorry, questions uh, in Baldur's Gate too. Oh fuck yeah. No, it's it's five. It's five in Baldur's Gate. Oh, is it really? Uh, I, I do think it's two different spells. I think like one uh, is the five and one is yeah. the three. It's I just don't remember the names. This in is... the movie, he has an item that lets him do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
This is Sweep of Dead. It's fine. Wait, so what are you planning on doing? Well, should we decide on the questions before yeah. we cast the spell? We should decide on the questions so no accidental questions get asked. All right. <laughs> we should ask who 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 murdered you. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. Better sure. hope she's that's... got an answer for that one. Like I mean, she true. only yeah, she can only answer she can only answer what she knew in life, so if she doesn't know. Right. Then she doesn't right. know. It does seem that she put up a defense against them, at least for a, 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 a moment or two. You guys uh, check her fingernails? I did oh not. My, oh my ah, goodness, smart. I did not. That is a good thing yeah, to check. check. Check her some skin or hair. I don't know. Anybody know how to do DNA analysis? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll send it to the boys yeah, in the lab. Just... Uh, first, you're so, talking about raising the dead. Now you're just talking gibberish. We we send the boys in the lab. We send it to our little little robot man, and he <laughs> he puts out a slot opens, opens up. up you and put, we in put the, the DNA swab in there. Yeah, a little Theranos device pops out. <laughs> Centrifuge. <laughs> so, who ki- who killed you? That's the first one. If she doesn't know the who, you could always ask the what. Yeah, let's go with what killed you. Well, maybe she might interpret that as like, oh, my, my neck snapping killed me. Mm. We could okay, ask her what die. she saw before she died. Oh, I was going to say that. We just that have works. to ask. That works. Me and you, me and Sam. No, oh, she's, you know, oh, yeah. Before she died. Okay, and then uh, second question. <laughs> Tone zero, my God. <laughs> you could Joey. ask her if anyone had a grudge against her. Oh, uh, does anybody? Does she know well, of anybody who might have reason to kill her? Well, won't Robin know something like that, like grudge wise? Yeah. Robin, Robin. Robin, do you know anybody? Anybody hate about your that? fucking boss? I mean, None that this I is know also of. this is also a serial killer, ain't it? That's true. Who's to say? Maybe it's a copycat. Maybe it's a what? Copycat. Do any of you locals? Cotton candy. Like, what the fuck? Do any of the locals mean? in the group uh, know anything about the other murders? If they're similar to this one. Well, I certainly know that there, the killer is unbiased as to who, social standing wise. I mean, mm-hmm. she seems. She seems like a farmer, and I do know that the last one was pretty hot. Pretty, pretty, pretty hot? High. <laughs> hot, pretty high? Pretty high ranking. Social I gotcha. status. Okay, that makes more sense. And she probably deserved it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Joe says that, like, Evelyn just, like, evil eyes you like mm. all right well let's let's not pass judgment on the dead who might be next so you might be next yeah, we'll be <laughs> we, if we don't figure this shit out we might be next and now, so you know a lot. first question what did we see or what did she see before she died Mm. Uh, second question. I Does don't know, know if we'll have any leads. Real brief. Yeah. I don't know if we have, if we'll get any leads with asking if she had any enemies or anything like that. So, let's see. Wouldn't it be ask, better to ask what killed you rather than what that. did you see? Well, we can ask both. Yeah, I thought we were asking both, just in case she didn't know one or the other. Yeah, we can ask both. Okay, third question. Anybody got ideas? Robin, is there anything you would like to ask her? Um, is there anything you'd like to say to her? I... What kind of a question is... That's not really like, um... That's not how it really works. I understand it's simply asking a question. I'm just wondering if Robin would have a better 
knowing of who she is and what to ask. That's true. Um, I mean, I guess try to keep questions brief. Right. Uh, I think as far as personal details, we're not going to get too much on that line of thinking if it's a serial killer. We, we need to know... All right, we got five questions, right? Okay. Third question. Third question. Let's do. Let's do. I I I can't think of nothing. Suppose you could ask how they got in. Okay. Pause. Yeah. If we look, is like the door broken down or anything, or is it like? Oh, or is Vaughn here? Oh, I think Vaughn yeah. stepped away. I'm still here. I'm back. Oh, cool, cool. Oh my god. I'm back. Is that the phone? Hey. Hey. <laughs> the divine bone? Hey. Oh <laughs> so we're gonna look at the door and see if, like, was it broken down or damaged at all? Amy. Yeah, like, is there a clear point of entry that was, like, no. Rough and No, okay. Oh, damn. Let's ask. How the oh, killer got in. got in. Yeah. It's oh, possible. should we ask what the murder weapon was? Uh, I don't know. It could just... Well, if we're thinking that the neck... Snapped. Neck was snapped, but you said there were stab wounds. Was it a sword? That's was true. It... But I don't know it's why enough. somebody might... Would, would snap the neck of a dead body. No, but that wasn't... Okay. Yeah, we can ask... About the murder weapon, I suppose. Yeah, the the knife that was used. Okay. I'm just th- trying yeah. to think of another question to ask other than who the We might want to leave it? one open and ask it based on the answers we get. Hey, out of character, did anybody write these questions down? My brain doesn't work. I'll write them down. Okay, so. What did you see before you died? What, what kills is... you? How did it get inside? And then... Our last the, question, we'll leave. Should we do what was the murder weapon? Because it seems like it was a knife. Yeah, or should we do knife. where? where is the murder weapon? You the murder away. weapon's probably on the person still. Pro- yeah, probably the body doesn't know that anymore. You could always mm. ask if they knew the person who killed them. Uh, we might get that from, from... Well, we can leave the last two open. How about that? Sounds good to me. <laughs> can leave the last two open and then ask them based on what, what answers we got. What did you say last? What? What did you say? I didn't quite hear you. I said sounds good. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is only gonna last for about ten minutes, though. Yeah. So let's get get going through them. Okay. Are you ready? Everybody ready? This might be freaky. Let's get her done. Does, any, does anybody want to step out? Not not see this happen, Robin. Yeah. No. <laughs> the dirty look straight at Robin. Like. I mean, is she gonna like be sentient or? I don't know what's gonna happen. What does it look like? Have you done this before? Of Did course you? I have. Um, what it, what's it look like? I'm more like, I don't know. She'll be talking, but she's not really sent me. She'll just... Is, it, is is the body animated? Or is it like a ghost situation? Oh no, it's animated. Not fully, yeah. but, you know, right. mouth be opening and moving. Alright. Probably so, be right. Bye. See y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> Call me when you're finished. I'm Anybody else little... want to step out? I'm I must actually... bear witness to this spectacle. I'm, I'm fine. Actually... Right I'm on, actually guy. a little curious as to how this is gonna go. Alright, well, if everybody's ready, then you do the honors. Alrighty, and I cast my my silly little speak with dead spell. 
A tee hee. All right. Do we have to roll sanity? <laughs> <laughs> right now. Um, this one I'll let you decide for yourselves. You cast Speak with Dead. Um, there's nothing that you gotta do for it. Good thing Robin um, left the room. <laughs> you, yeah. you guys had positioned her onto her back again, rolled her over. Mm-hmm. Um, her head, because moving her around, is kind of like to the side, still bent weird. And like her arm, one of her arms is kind of just like dropped over her body from being mm-hmm. poked at. You cast this spell. Um, it. Let's take a second. And you're like sitting there. You wait a second, see if something happened. This high pitched guttural scream rips out of her body. Her head kind of like jerks a little bit in place. Um, and her back kind of arches up a little bit. Her shoulders fall back down on the floor and she lays there briefly. Um, her eyes are open wider than they were before, still not seeing anything, but laying there on the floor. Um, but you can see her, the hand from the arm that's tossed over her body kind of twitches and her shoulder kind of twitches as well as her head tries to turn to look over towards, um, the, that who cast the spell on her over at the Adir but she can't really move it that much because of her broken neck. And she sits and waits to see what the questions are. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to roll sanity. <laughs> oh, what God. did you see before you died? Does it respond to me? I don't know. I think it's anybody. I don't think it says anything about who it responds to. It just just, all it says really is that if it's already the spell's been used on it within the last ten days, it won't work. Right. So does it? Does it (laughs) respond? There's also no compulsion to offer a truthful answer. Yeah, it has no compulsion to offer a truthful answer (laughs) if if it sees us as an enemy or a threat. She's like, ew, you're ugly. (laughs) She's like, old man. (laughs) Old old man. man. She ties again. (laughs) 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 He's graying. Fear of the elderly. Forgive me for my graying. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't specify that it has to be the person who cast it to ask the questions. Alright, would you like me to ask it again? Yeah. Okay, alright, ma'am. Uh, forgive, forgive me, uh, but what did you see before you died? And this kind of, like, rattling breath gets pushed out a little bit forcefully for a second before she answers. Dark. It wasn't, it wasn't much. The sun hadn't come up yet. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Do you know what killed you? Thing has no right calling itself a human. Interesting. Thank you. Do you know how it got inside? Can I did again. Door 
gets left open in the morning for Robin to come in. Oh. Right. Looks at Robin. I think. Robin left the room. He's Good thing Robin left the room. That's right. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> it's okay, I'll tell him when he comes back. He looks at the, uh, the rest of the group. We've reached the end of our planned questions. We have two more. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Evelyn, like, shocked face, just, like, looks at you and just, like, mm-hmm. does a motion, not, she doesn't want to say it aloud in case it's, like, <laughs> motioning to the question that she said last, which was, like, did you know the person? Mm. She just kind of says, person. If we're gonna come up with questions, we should come over and do a little huddle where it can't hear us. Only got ten minutes, but yeah. We only got ten minutes because we gotta make it quick. All right. I'm trying to figure out. I, I keep asking if she knows stuff, and I think she could just say yes or no, and that would not be helpful. So I'm trying to figure out how to phrase it to say who who was it. Or that kind of thing. And don't we just have to say who? Why don't you ask if it black was Harry oh. or something? Or like had three eyes? Oh, what if we asked how many? How many were there? I mean, Could she it? said she already said it had no right calling itself human. Exactly. Right, but did it have a dog or something that bit her, or was it the dog? That's what I'm thinking. We're how many how many creatures attacked you? That's what I'm gonna ask. Tentacle face. Could what, have if, what if it was only one? That's what one we gotta thing. know. That's what we gotta know. Could ask how many there were, if any. Yeah, how many how many creatures attacked you? Or how if, many If you knew if she knew who the person was, if so, did, who? Did, we only got two more. It's two questions in right. one. <laughs> I don't think she'll accept that. Alright, alright, alright. I think a good idea would be how many and who. How many how many creatures attacked you? Um, Is that an actual question? Yeah, yeah, ma'am ma'am, how many how many creatures attacked you? I imagine we're doing our huddle and we all like turn and look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I well, see it so clearly. As, as everyone guys, lifts like, their heads. You're huddled away. <laughs> and then it cuts um, to Robin and he's just whistling in the other room. <laughs> yeah. Uh Robin in the other room. Boy, I hope you like blocked your ears or something, because you definitely heard that scream. <laughs> he's just whistling louder than <laughs> He just starts whistling louder. <laughs> yeah. Um, Robin's like screaming out there. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys, you guys were like turned away in your little huddle. The body has like it's just been laying there. The only like movement from it is like occasionally like twitches a little bit as like the head keeps trying to turn towards you but can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One. One. I've gone outside to hug my pig. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you, thank you for your answers, ma'am. Oh. One more question. Uh, I forgot the question. <laughs> who, 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 who was? Who was it? Who who was it, ma'am? It was dark. I've never seen her face before, though. Her. Oh, oh. Some sort of lead. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for uh, answering. You can rest now. The pronouns are only so indicative. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster! <laughs> and the body's chest kind of makes a rattling sound again as it mm-hmm. relets out his final death breath and just falls I wanna, again. I want to close her eyes. 
Oh, fuck you. I was going to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to reopen. <laughs> <laughs> we can yeah. do it at the same yeah. time. One eye. One I eye. Open one, of eyes. one eye. <laughs> one eye. <laughs> we, we both go to close our eyes and our hands touch and we're like, oh, no. Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's poking and prodding at the body. I'm over here like, damn, I'm do gonna, I have to roll sanity I'm, again? I'm because gonna, that was wild. Uh, after closing her eyes, I'm going to cover the body with the sheet. Mm hmm. Yeah, if our hands touched at, while we were trying to close a dead body's eyes. <laughs> what if our hands touched trying to close a dead You can take that like a um, like a window curtain. And use it. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> what a silly little meat cute. <laughs> what a silly little meat cute. <laughs> <laughs> meat cute. <laughs> 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 meat cute spelled M E A T. <laughs> Our the hands meat touched. We were trying cute. to close the eyes of the corpse we just reanimated and touched. <laughs> 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 all right all right all right we got some information okay let's write this down before we forget it i so. i haven't written all that <laughs> i'm glad we have note takers to say round of applause for note takers i'm getting round better because i'm so bad y'all seen my notes before what did it say um, when we asked what killed it? Or her? What or how what many creatures it, attacked you? One, who was it? It was dark, never seen her before. How did it and get, door gets left open for Robin? Do you know what killed you? Thing has no no right, no right being calling itself a human. What did you see before you died? Dark. Sun dark. hadn't come up yet. Dork. Okay. Sun wasn't. So up. it's all Robin's fault. Uh, don't tell him. Uh, I'm joking about that because Joe's definitely gonna tell. <laughs> don't tell him. Don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Uh, wait, I actually think I I missed out on on this. What? <laughs> what did I miss? Um, do you want us to tell you add a character or in character? Uh, <laughs> out of character, out of... like what's going on? <clears throat> out of character. No, okay. Um, we asked it how the character. thing that <laughs> out of character. Um, we asked it how uh, we asked her uh, how uh, the thing that killed her got inside, and she said she left the door open for Robin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that may be somebody might tell Robin that in character. But... No, someone will. It's it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. said if you want to roll sanity if you witnessed all of that, you can. Yes. It's kind of up to you. Um I know for sure that I would probably have Yeah, to roll you sanity. would. Um so. I'm saying it's up to you guys because for people like Gary, it like she wouldn't that is like her spell is something that she does. Yep, I've done this um, many a times before. I think I'm pretty comfortable with dead bodies. I've, I've and never seen this before. <laughs> I think Zira's seen I'm... something similar in her career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think Proton think... would be like that. Bad about like a real I think body. Joe... Joe is fine with bodies, but the scream was too Joe, familiar. I think you should. Yeah. It's okay, <laughs> I, <won't laughs> I got a 76. I think she should. It's definitely the the scream got her ass pretty good. Mm. Wait a minute, that was really familiar. Fuck. <laughs> uh, she. Uh, sorry, I'm bringing up your trauma. <laughs> she did like the like one finger in your ear, full body recoil of that. Oh, I see it so clearly in my mind. Yeah, I, I love oh, I, I love the mind. theater of the mind. I'm there. I'm there. All right. Um. Um. Okay. Um. Here you go. Y'all want to get a drink? I think we might want to clean our clothes first. You paying? I would gladly polish your shoes. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. That. Uh, more about my, uh, my pants are covered in blood now. Oh yes, my skirts are are quite a mess right now. This is why I cuff my jeans. Um, Ellen, I think you should be using the same, um, whatever the hell you want to call that. 
thing. The thing. The same one as last time. The one to the. Uh, the one hundred. The one to the one d four. Okay. Um. So Eight. you. So six. That is below your number. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's just the one. Okay. So just one. Yeah. It's just one. It's just. Um. Okay. Joanna. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, you pass. Um, oh, shucks. Unless, I mean, do you want to have one? I mean, I'm feeling a little left out, so maybe. You take the one. <laughs> Thanks. Take, take the L. Oh, are you taking the L? Stop it. Loss of sanity. Thanks. You minks, I'll take it. Be completely honest with me, her fucking brain shit would be like, fuck you, here's, here's a penalty. <laughs> her, her brain friend is like, spits on you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Mm. Oh, oh, warlock. Mm. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have Do to, you... to live with the, the blood soaked in. Um... And Joanna. Drink. Yes? Yes, baby. You want to just roll me some constitution real quick? Yeah, I'll roll you some constitution. <laughs> I'll roll you some constitution real quick. Oh. Wait, uh, when you want a constitution, you want with the d6s or with the d20? Uh, we'll do a d21. It's what? D20. Huh? D20? I thought you said d21. Like, yeah. well, I said we'll do I said we'll do the d21. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, D21. um... Hey, I don't have that dice in my new it's set. Equal to D20. It didn't come in my new set. Um, that is a oh, sorry. saving throw or a modifier. Um, check or modifier or saving God. throw. Thank you. I'm there. Uh, fourteen. One four. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks. Continue. So, hey, drinks. Drinks, anybody? You paying? I'm paying for myself. <laughs> you can pay for my old school. She starts walking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather like to leave, considering I think we've played with this body a little too much. I think we've done enough. Yeah, I'll say a few words. I don't quite have the funeral rites ready, but say something. Hopefully put the spirit to rest. Oh, God. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Just to <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, that should do it. <laughs> Kick some dirt over the sheet. <laughs> there's no dirt, there's just blood. <laughs> Splash. Yeah, it's Splash. all just muddy, <laughs> muddy blood now. Yeah, gross Splash. mud. Splash, that's so gross. <laughs> all right. Tavern then, let's, let's try to talk this out. And uh, Our paper I, think, I think Robin should get some sleep. Robin zones out for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The minute she walks out, Joe does, Joe does go, Oh man, it's too bad she left the door open for you. Maybe she'd have been safer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. One second, we gotta write that down. Checked out. Was checked out. <laughs> that, that is reason enough to check out for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Um... <laughs> She just like keeps walking, like like doesn't miss a beat, just keeps going. All right. He's gonna learn. He's yeah, he's learning. learning. He's learning all right. Oh my god. My my my, my character flops. <laughs> I'm a bitch. Oh, you're a country woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's a country woman. Dreamy. Dreamy. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, she is that. I'm so her. <laughs> Yep. We just uh, skip over to the tavern. Hmm. Uh, yawning. 
Um, Ooh, yeah. Uh, well, um, uh, you guys are able to drink. leave the house. Um, you can the door. Like I said, it was not. There was no broken entry. Um, so you can just mm-hmm. shut it behind you. Um. Jetta, obviously, like she knows uh, like, that you guys were going over there to look at it. She's probably, uh, you could assume someone will be sent over shortly to deal with the body and all of that. Um, it is not a, a thing that is of concern to you. It's not something that she mentioned that you have to deal with. Um, to get a drink. Yeah, a little robot man, do you drink? <laughs> I oil my gears, but I do not consume food. <laughs> uh, a little bit of liquid oil. A little bit of liquid, liquid courage. Oh my god. A little oil. I love him so much. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can I doubt they oil. serve that at this establishment. Uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, yeah like, uh, does, uh, does vegetable oil count? <laughs> what? <laughs> Vegetable oil does have many properties, but I would not put it anywhere near my gears. Okay. <laughs> I mean, does lantern oil survive? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he like that. He like that. He, oh, he like that. He like that one. All right. Doesn't that doesn't that make you dirty? If you're getting oil all over yourself. I don't pour it onto myself. I meticulously place it in parts that need it. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I do that with alcohol too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure thing. All right. You also displace your arms and then insert it into the. Never mind. I don't think you know about that. <laughs> he said it was an inside thing. Hey, you're, you're, you're not a robot. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, <pretty much>. What? <laughs> you're not a robot. You you're not. He's a like robot holding. Thing. He's like holding his arm, like looking at it, like slowly, like clicking it around, and then looks back at you and is like, right. <laughs> it was just I can, like I can, dis- I can dislocate my shoulder. Does that have any use? No. Well, sometimes actually. And I see it. Yeah. I do it. Roll to dislocate your shoulder. <laughs> it's like permanently broken. I really like. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> pop it back in. Just pop it out. Pop it in. Oh my yeah. god! You know, there's no like pain or anything from it. You're oh, just it, doing it hurt. It. I tell you what, it hurt. Old injuries are just like that. Yeah. Stick. Yeah, it broke <laughs> broke my shoulder at one point. But then he'll quite right. That's Although that is a right. benefit of the flesh, you can heal over time. That's what I'm saying. Well, that can you fix what? you, right? Are you limited edition? I can be fixed, but it doesn't naturally fix itself. Fixed like a dog. What? Like a dog? Yeah. No, not like. <laughs> Wait. Little robot man. Yes. Can you have? Can you have kids? <laughs> no! Where is this really? conversation you know going? Robots. Do you have a son? Do, do you have a I son? have no family members. Oh. Oh, oh now that's sad. sad. Me neither. It's, you'll get over it. Anybody got family here? Yeah, I do. I suppose. All right. Well, I do as well. Let's make sure we get back to them. All right. So. Oh, not that kind of family. <laughs> oh. Well. Let's talk about the murder. <laughs> you ask the robot if it can have kids, and then you're like, oh, well, the murder. <laughs> I'm the done. murder. What about this murder? No. Uh, yeah, so how about we stop yeah. talking for a while? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're having this yeah. conversation, and the uh, fucking Yadiri pulls out a little little flask of oil and slides it over to Prototum. Yeah. Prototum. 
<laughs> he gladly accepts it. Yeah. You guys find uh, yourselves right. um, pretty easily um, at the tavern. It is situated near the uh, kind of like the outskirts of town, so you don't have to walk as far as you would have to if you were going uh, back to the um, sheriff's office or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, the this establishment you find yourselves at is called the Silver Canary. It is oh, a modest tavern, um, pretty small. It is run by one Fidel Tathfield, a drow woman. Uh, she's on the shorter side with short curly hair, curly white hair and a darker gray skin. Um, she is a woman who is in her own way, friendly and welcoming to people that come through her doors. Um, small town and run a tavern like this, she knows everybody that comes through and will point out when a face walks in that she doesn't recognize. Um, entering the building uh, inside, besides a bar, of course, with its counter seating to the back of the room, there are just a couple, just a couple of tables and two booths off to the side wall. Uh, behind the bar, there is, of course, space to serve drinks to people, but there is also space enough for her and the couple of staff members that she has, uh, that she has employed to be able to cook some meals on a stove and a griddle top that's back there. Um, and in the room as well, there is a, a small side table that's set up with a phonograph on it that is playing quiet music to fill up the kind of empty dead air space of a tavern midday. I'll order something. Duh, just give me something hard. I don't care too much. I'm trying to play it cool. She definitely knows who I am. If I order anything, I just order wine. You would. (laughs) Yeah, I would. I'm I'm just imagining I'm just imagining that scene in like the first season of Vox Machina where everybody's just drinking to their heart's content and Percy's in the background, like, ah yes, we're wine. (laughs) So (laughs) so good. Probably order, um, uh, probably order, like, grog. <laughs> trying to think of a, like, gross D&D drink. Well, you're in the South. You have to get whiskey. Oh, oh yes. just yeah, you straight get Jack Daniels. The... Fuck you guys. I get moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen? No, nobody's gonna happen. Old fashioned? Oh, fancy. Dude, I'm, oh. I'm asking for something that might be in a mason jar that you might have gotten from the back that you should not be selling. <laughs> from, from from Billy Bob like, down the street. Billy Bob like, down the street. <laughs> he's been arrested six times. He's, he's a little blind in one eye. <laughs> I keep telling him to stop doing that, but he doesn't anything. <laughs> Maybe I get an old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> it seems fitting. It seems fitting for her. Yeah, it does. Mm. Right. Um, Let's get some bourbon or something. Nice. Just straight. Oops. Shouldn't Jonathan be getting the old fashioned? Because <laughs> 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 he's old. Because <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wasn't always this old. <laughs> I would hope so. Sure, you were born <laughs> we, we, find, we find out that Jonathan's just immortal. <laughs> God, <laughs> he emerged. Holy shit, you're actually I've dead. been an old man for 35 years. <laughs> How exactly Damn. old are you? <laughs> what if he's aging in years? 8,000 years old. <laughs> Eight thousand years. He's twenty-three. Thirty <laughs> <laughs> years. A grandmother. I'm eighty-four years old. 
I'm only I'm only fifty eight. I don't really know where this old old thing is coming from. You are old. <laughs> fifty eight years young. No, oh, you're old. If anybody's right. old, it's probably me. <laughs> Elf years. If we're talking about old. getting in on years, I am 145. No, you're Stop old, boy. Oh, man. You no, know, son? No. Okay. I do not have memories past 10 years at a time. Oh, so there might be a son out there. <laughs> you really hung up on him having a son. <laughs> Would I don't you like think to the be robot my can have a kid. <laughs> Would you like to be no, he doesn't say that. So, <laughs> can we so, all be adopted by Prototype? <laughs> Back to the murder. Right, right. The murder. All right. So it sounds like some kind of shapeshifter attack. That's what I'm getting with the knife wounds and the bite wounds and the claw mark. Obviously, not the work of your normal murderer. Yeah. I mean, I would assume a shapeshifter or like a bugbear. That's true. Something of that type. Or like a monster. Could be a monster. Well, the yeah. only thing is that they seem to be seem to have been wielding a weapon. And I... Monsters can wield weapons. So can okay. human beings. Fucking Mothman can be walking around with a gun for all we fuck. <clears throat> I don't. Know. I feel like. There if was no bullet wounds. I feel like it's e if it's using tools, then it's basically a person, right? If it's any right. consultation, it wasn't something magical, not a summoned creature or any magical casting spell that could have. Well, slap my ass and call me Betsy. That was real fucking I'll, helpful. I'll refrain. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. You never know. A lot of people around here can conjure things out of nothing. So, Shoot, you're right. The... Now, notably, the sun had not come up yet. That doesn't give us a whole lot of information, but it does mean that our murderer moves nocturnally. That makes sense. Do we know if any of the other murders took place around similar times? Look to the locals for information on that. I don't know, DM. Locals? <laughs> <laughs> I look we at all look at Emma Lynn. Scott. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Sounds like the job, or? Sounds like what the job. What was the question? <laughs> uh, do, did any of the other murders happen, like, at night or, like, nocturnally? Is there a pattern in um... that regard? <laughs> assumedly, um, assumedly, based on yeah, assumedly based on how they like, finding the bodies and stuff. Um, yeah, because like some people, it's people don't live close together here. Sure. Um. So the time of like people being found kind of varies. But, like, most people, like, in the area, when asked, are kind of like, I didn't notice anything. Right. So, it's, like, probably moving under the cover of darkness. Right. Thank you for the information, God. <laughs> God. Um, I will say another thing that I literally just remembered that I thought of last night and was like, I need to make sure I say this. Yeah. <laughs> is that there is a like um like part of Jetta putting out the like help me please kind of notice was being like strongly like she can't make everybody do something but like strongly advising that people be home before mm. it's like total darkness out because of the mm. assumption that they're using Perfect. like darkness mm -hmm. to hide. Mm. Uh, something that moves at night. All right. Now I'm not too. I know somebody mentioned uh, werewolf. Not too sure on that. 
uh, we haven't had, it's, uh, doesn't sound like it's been, a moon cycle based killings. I feel like we need to gather more information on the other murders. I agree. Well, if you're wondering about the other murders, um, Sorry, I'm losing this accent so bad. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. <laughs> it took me so long just to get the accent. Yeah. 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 If there's anything to know about the other murders, other than it doesn't matter of class, that sometimes most of the murders are messy as hell. So I've been, so I've heard. Other times, there's no body to be found. And yes, most of them do happen at night, I assume. All right. And you've had a victim who was close to you, Evelyn. Yeah, I don't think you know her name yet. I don't she think hasn't so. said I think, anything like about I said it, introducing yeah. herself. She's been following you. you guys around. Yeah, I think I think the only thing she's been called so far is cunt and bitch. Yep. And, yeah. And I know those I can keep going. Name. All those by Joe. <laughs> so it's <laughs> by Joe. I love it. So he'll just go you. Yeah. Have had um a victim who was close to you or who you knew. Is that correct? Not personally, but the last body that was found was certainly a client of my parents. And See. we don't particularly enjoy losing clients. What do your parents do? They're just simple jewelers, make things. Right, magic, right. magic things as well. Okay. That fucking course they do. Alright. Okay, so there's not too much of a pattern as far as victims are concerned. When was the last murder? I mean... <laughs> um... Uh, this fucking morning. This fucking morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this hell. This no, fucking morning. The one <laughs> I know you were thinking. <laughs> the, the I know. before that. Me and Crush uh... hands. <laughs> Looks at looks at God. God. Hello. <laughs> when was the last one? Evelyn prays to her God. <laughs> Hello. I'm not a warlock, I'm but chasing, I'm chasing a bug around. Sorry. No worries. You're good. <laughs> um. Stop it. <laughs> um. Um. Murder. Kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. Um, no, don't be cursed. <laughs> <laughs> like last okay. week. I go last week. Okay. And what moon phase is it, God? Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, we want to talk about the moon. The moon phases. You want to talk about the moon? Oh, I'm talking about the moon. Here on, here on Benor. Hello, wait a minute. Here on Benor, we got two moons. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, so you have to specify which moon. <laughs> which moon? moon. <laughs> um. That means twice as much work for you when I ask that. <laughs> You can just say, not a full moon. Not full. Yeah, bye. Yeah, so I... Waxing crescent. Waxing <laughs> crescent. Uh, I don't believe this would be a, like, like an killer. Um, unless they're willingly using their curse to kill people. Which is a possibility. Wouldn't be. It is possible, though. As I said before, yeah. could be a druid as well. Who knows? A druid. Oh, that is true. That is a good point. Again. Does anybody, any of the locals, know any notable druids or in the community? Like that? Perhaps we should ask the tavern keep. 
Teacher, can I ask a question? <laughs> Yeah, oh, and you should listen to your robot pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I need to ask a question. <laughs> uh huh. Um, out of curiosity, if we were like in talking about this, said like, oh, this thing came from the Shadowfell, would we refer to it as the Shadowfell? Like, is that like the dark place? The colloquial term hands. for it? Or is it like the bad? Bad, bad place, place. that we shouldn't go. <laughs> bad place. Uh, yeah, Shadowfell. Okay. That's all. Now I'm gonna agree with the robot. Yeah, let's talk to a Tavern Keeper. Uh... Oh, you should. She knows a lot about everyone. Mm -hmm. All right, Proto okay. Prototome like kind of like, like nudges towards you. the Tavern Keep to like, as if to ask something. Does the Tavern Keep like in front of them, like standing there? Uh, that depends. Did you guys <laughs> sit at the bar, or did you guys grab How drinks? tall is the bar? Well, the, the, I would think Proton would, like, hobble up onto, like, a stool at the bar. Yeah. I'd pick but, you up. If yeah, you but just in relation to the, like, is she just, just right there? Um, if yeah, you like, sat at I the bar, just, she's standing, like, she's back there working. Yeah. Um, if you sat down, you'd have to, like, go up from your table and walk over to her. Um, if you have been sitting at the bar, she has been listening to you this entire time. <laughs> I love the idea of us sitting at the bar and going, maybe we should talk to a local. Huh, any local? <laughs> hey, local? She's any just locals? like, she's like off to the side, polishing a glass and not looking at you guys. I'm like, I'm not listening. Right. <laughs> the typical NPC, like. All right, let's head over <laughs> to the bar. And I ask, uh, gesture. Somebody has to pick down, up though. Prototone and put him on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to do it. Just would like to grab me. Joe's Sorry, like I'm watching. Three, it's not happening. My hands are still. Joe watches you do this for a really long time, and then it's like, you want help? You, you got it. Please. Oh, <laughs> uppies, uppies, <laughs> uppies, uppies. uppies. <laughs> she just like gets off her stool, leans down, picks you up, like. <laughs> holds you a little bit far from her she's like, I don't really know what to do with this. <laughs> and then just like, awesome baby is this? Prototum, Prototum weighs 40 pounds. Who's, whose child is this? She has to struggle a little bit to do it. Use She's your knees. Yeah. Pick up with your legs, not your back. Yeah. Prototum like brushes the chair off a bit before you put him down <laughs> on it. And on there. She also, one of at least one of her hands is definitely like nasty because she just like Touch the blood. Well, hasn't seen that yet, alright? <laughs> she puts you, you got, down. You got something on your foot there. And pro, uh, a little bit all over you, Proton. So he got, got, like, got a little jerks bit of... his head down and like sees like kind of half dried kind of dirt or blood stains or whatever was on your hand. And he like quickly shuffles through his bag to pull out like a cloth and then some sort of liquid, liquid to pour on it and just wipes himself clean. All right. You guys should probably ready. track in a bunch of that muddy what? blood yuck that we were talking about. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah. Only, yeah. Only, well, I didn't want to just boot, describe so. the whole time and, uh, that person was staring at all the- I was disgusting. the one who, who turned the body over and I uh, was looking around the wound, remember. so my hands are covered in blood. Yeah. And I, did not have I walked through it. Evelyn walked through it. Her shoes are covered. Her Probably the bottom of her pant legs. <laughs> Uh, uh, Zira, she I means Zira was wearing blood, so. Does the bartender yeah. say anything about us covered in blood? Um, I mean, no. Now, bartender, bartender, could I have a moment of your time? She is, she's like at the other end, she just like, has been like cleaning glasses that were like washed and like putting them away, like drying them off. She kind of just like turns that's a little down bit his, to raise an eyebrow. Now with a bloody handprint on it, glass. Um, <laughs> Her eyes just slowly says, slide down to it and then look back up at you. Now, um, I don't know how much you know, but we we are investigating a murder at the moment. Um, do you have any information on the, the recent murders? Uh, just uh, things you've been hearing about them. That's a pretty vague question you're asking. I understand that. Just any in information that you're, any information that you are willing to share, just uh, what you've been hearing about them, when they've been happening. Uh, 
who they've been happening to, if they're, if you've noticed any sort of pattern, just, uh, any information. Well, who's easy? It's just any poor bastard. Uh, she kind of, like, she's, like, walking over to you guys now. She does, like, because she has been, like, subtly watching you this whole time. Um, and she, like, puts mm. the rag that she was using down on the counter, like, near where Protom is. <laughs> um, and keep walking. Like, as she's walking, she, like, grabs a bottle of, like, one of the liquors that she would pour for you guys earlier. Um, and kind of, like, slides Joe's glass over to herself and pours a little bit more in, slides it back over to her. Like, kind like... She gives you a little nod. <laughs> uh, the murders. It's just like purely silent. It's just like, she's just the like, murders. She's like, <laughs> yeah, she's it's like kinda, arms crossed, like thinking. Her. Yeah. We were doing investigation for the sheriff into the murders. We were wondering <laughs> if you knew anything that could help us. Yeah, I can kind of tell that. <laughs> what gave it away? The part where I asked. <laughs> Part Could have been also blood. the part where you guys are covered. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't know. Not much to say about him. Right. Just... Right. Not. Not too much. No. No patterns or anything like that. Just unlucky. Unlucky. I mean, unless like. Messy as hell, gruesome, not very clean right. is a pattern. Right. right. And, um, you wouldn't happen to know of any druids in the community? Any, any notable druids? None I know of, but, uh, I mean, people be coming through all the time. Right. Traveling right. around. How long have these been these murders been happening? How far back was the first one? She kind of like leans like leaning on the counter now, talking to you guys. Uh, around here has probably been about a month and a half now. A couple of okay. people dying. Okay. Pretty sure Jetta said that she was looking into things sure. and found like reports of people kind of you know the and she makes a little like so so motion with her hand <laughs> in mm -hmm. between places people are not only living in one town or another um, right. been finding people out there and then a couple towns over maybe a couple months ago they heard about some people too I see okay not not just in this town but if there was a rough estimate in Total amount. You want a total amount found or total amount missing? Found. Uh, probably like 11. 11. That's why I just right. got kind of worried about it. Right. What about the total amount missing? Mm, what we know of. Probably like eight more. I don't think missing is too big of an issue around here, though. And everybody goes missing at one point. Right. Take the wrong step and you're in the shadow fail, so. Notice so anybody, uh, notice anybody strange come to town about a month and a half ago? Stranger than normal. <sighs> I mean, 
mean, for where we are, I don't think. One person right. stranger than the rest, you know? Yeah. I mean, not... Not really, they're like, uh... Around the time when it happened, but a while back there was a... Strange man that came through. Didn't really stay long. Right. Didn't really talk much to anybody. Sure. But sure, all right. People are yeah. genuinely strange around here. Right. Anybody got any other questions for this uh, fine lady? Did anyone come through within the past day or last night before the sun came up? Uh, not before the sun came up. Um, we, because of the suggested rule that Jed put in place, it's bad for business, but kind of start wrapping things up near sundown. Um, don't really stay open too much later than that. And head on home. Uh, haven't, uh, between that though, I haven't seen anybody. Right. You've been very helpful. Thank you. She kind of gives you a little nod. She kind of like stands back up and like grabs the, the rag again. She's like, "You got any refills or anything?" Uh, I think I will leave this glass with you. I apologize for the mess. Yeah. Happens. <laughs> All right. He looks to the rest of the group and sort of pats his leg and stands up and already head out. Where should we go next? Well, what time is it? Yeah. Were we just day drinking? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just it was, like day drinking, it was like dude. Noon. It's probably like I mean, one. you kind of. I mean, you, we it's did just. It's kind of normal. For we, are we did just. It we is kind of normal. A, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we did just see um, a dead body. A dead body. It, it was and talk to a dead body. Yeah. Yeah. It we was deserved. It. A nice little treat. <laughs> <laughs> a deserved little treat for you guys. <laughs> All right. You feeling uh, oiled up, little robot man? I am ready to <laughs> roll. I don't like that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Up. All right. We should uh, we should report back to Jet and see what I uh, apologize, Jetta, and see what what she thinks of this information. Maybe ask her a few more questions now that we've seen the scene. You know. Right. Everyone in agreement. Please. Sounds like a plan. Ah, uh, Capitan anything to get further in this mess than what has previously been done? Alright. Well, let's head that way then. As we're leaving, I want to turn around and run back to the tavern keep and be like, if she asks you, tell Jedi I was on my best behavior. And then I run back to <laughs> yeah, she, she, is, she like yeah. chuckles when you say that. She, like She's like on her like making her way like down the bar, like picking up your cups and stuff. You say that, and she, she does like you like full body like a uh, belly chuckle at that. And she like as you're running out the door, calls after you. And she's like, "You and your folks stay safe out there, Joanna. Messing around with all that shit." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hand wave behind her. A uh, little it's robot down. man. You got anything I can clean my hands with? I'm glad you asked. I have many <laughs> items that you could use. <laughs> All right, he you like, got a rag. He like pulls out a rag and then that strange clear liquid that he used yeah, to clean I'll, off himself I'll, before. I'll, I'll just use the rag, thanks. If you insist, you can. He like looks at the rag as you're cleaning it. You can keep that. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you kindly. You know what? I would normally have a handkerchief, but I don't. I think I'm I think I'm gonna cast prestidigitation on myself to get rid of whatever mess is on me. You could do that the whole time. That makes the little robot job so much easier. <laughs> You've been hiding this wonderful secret from me. I mean like magic's the, no you, secret, love. You're like the 
the little robot man's favorite person. Now you can just do his job for him. Well, I don't want to take his job away from him. Yeah, hold on, wait, Certainly little robot not. man. Do you take do you take joy in your job? I do enjoy cleaning, but I hate a mess. Interesting. I'd kind rather have it about. clean than have to clean. You'd rather there no never be no more messes than you so you but you never get to clean again. If I didn't have to clean, then my job would be complete. <laughs> would, would you just like die if that happened? I don't understand what you mean. You'd yeah, have to get a new job then, after all. Yeah, you'd like you'd need a new purpose. New prerogative. purpose. Define purpose. Uh, all right, uh, let's not mess like with the little guy's head. Seems like your purpose is to clean up messes, right? I do have a purpose in cleaning messes. Well, there you go. We all got to find it somewhere. What is your purpose? Now, that, now that's a deep question right there, and I, I think we should stop talking. <laughs> do you also the enjoy old... cleaning? Grown uh, gray hairs. No, not, not, not particularly. My wife did. Ah, she must have been wonderful. Have wrinkles. <laughs> Generally, be old. Let's stop Groan when you stand up. <laughs> Have your knees crackle a bunch. <laughs> Get saddle sore. <laughs> Evelyn is hours. literally just walking towards the sheriff's mm -hmm. office. She's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Require a walker whenever you move. Those seem like your purpose. The list just keeps going. <laughs> and Deary right. smirks and goes, Let's Isn't your purpose to, to be hung? The... <laughs> <laughs> what did, wait, uh... pause, wait, what did you say? Sorry, <laughs> what? Let's walk to, what is it? to Joanne. Yeah, we... <laughs> okay. Did we Joe already make it? Oh, wait, I, just thought, I, I didn't even hear what happened. I don't mean this joke. I, I was. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? <laughs> Hold on. Let's walk to the sheriff. <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> I think I missed what was said. I literally, I'm like, what happened? Is it your purpose? Is it your purpose to be hung? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but it didn't specify to who that was said. No, I said to Joe. I said to Joe. Oh, okay. And I looked at Joe. Uh, you didn't say her name. So was I didn't say her name, but I looked at her. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. God, I can't even say a line in character without a penis joke happening. <laughs> I hope we've we made it to the up. sheriff's office. You, by yeah. yeah. You, you, you you know, just at the sheriff's office, standing there by the door waiting for y'all. If you do say that to Joe, then she does do like a very like hands clasped together, um, like blink, blink. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> All right. It is, that's. With that, that is where we're gonna stop tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're ending on a penis joke! We're ending on a penis oh. joke. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> oh my god, I've never- I- the immediate just- I need you to specify who you're talking to right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I heard Abby saying that to the, the old man. Time, all of a sudden I just heard everybody go, oh my god! I was like, no, what happened? I, 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 was, say, no. I was here rubbing my lap like, please god. <laughs> I you were out here. You were out here going hard, and I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna <laughs> still turn now." <laughs> uh, oh <my> God. <laughs> I can never escape. I can never escape. I should never open my mouth. <laughs> I say too many there things that I can't. There is no escape. <laughs> <sighs> my job is to be muted when I'm talking and. <laughs> Your purpose is to be muted. I'm going to stop talking for a little while. Alright. That is that that's a rip. I guess I'm gonna my friend. I hope I everybody enjoyed this uh little I step away from the gray and ghost. We will finish tomorrow night. Woohoo! Yee conclusion. Same bat time, same bat channel. Let's see how fast I can ra race to the bottom of sanity.
It's a, race over the hill. <laughs> it's a race to see how fast I can go crazy. It's a race to see who gets the over the hill party first. I will say yeah, I want. Great. I want to be at the top. I want to be on the hill. <laughs> You you know, have to go a down. very slow start, so we're gonna have to pump those numbers up next session. <laughs> pump, I better be fucking jam. rolling well up. then. And the jam is pumped. It'll get easier. The lower it gets, the easier the rolls will be. Oh That's god, true. yeah, it will. Mm -hmm. That's true. I can't wait to go crazy. <laughs> go crazy? <laughs> Crazy. 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 Crazy.